people talking about this academia extravaganza thing earlier. Oh, no. Wonder what that is. Oh, no. Maybe there'll be fun things to do there. No. Let's go to the academia and have a look for ourselves. New big event, it seems. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to cover the story, the very big, I think, event quest. At the moment, I feel like there's a bit of a Genshin slump. Everyone I talk to, and even I look at other content creators, and they say they're not that much into Genshin at the moment. It might just be because Star Oil came out, you know, and that's obviously taken a lot of the hype away. But I can't lie when I say that. I haven't felt this way about Genshin since release. I've always loved playing it and wanted to log in every day, but at the moment I'm struggling a little bit. So hopefully this event can bring some joy back into us, make us feel like, uh, you know... Uh, we're excited to play the game again. Anyway, let's get started with today's video. I think it's a festival of some sort. Let's start heading there anyway. I... Oh man, I really went here to have a cool intro and I ruined it instantly. We enter the Academia's main hall to ask around for news with this cool blade on my back. Actually, it's really cool on Lumine. Hey! A moment, if you would. Yeah. Are you two the famous traveler and Paimon by any Still chance? Still not how you pronounce this, but yeah, that's me. We sure are! And who are you? My name is Wikos. Wikos. A member of the Academia Extravaganza Planning Committee. Mm hmm Have you two heard of this festival? <laughs> Extravaganza Planning Committee. Only just now? Yep. And that's exactly why we're here. Uh-huh. Is that so? Yeah. Looks like our advertising is working. Well, there's posters all over the place, which is actually kind of cool. Since you're both interested, would you mind if I gave you a brief explanation of the event? Yeah, please. <clears throat> so... The Academia Extravaganza is a grand event uh -huh. run by the Academia with a long and storied history. Yeah. To be precise, it can be divided into the Wisdom Gala and the Inter Darshan Championship. Okay. The gala is held annually. During this time, all six Darshans will set up booths throughout the city and host guests to showcase the most fascinating aspects of their school. Interesting. And thus, increase their influence. That's kind of cool, actually. On the other hand, the championship is held once every four years. Oh, Each Darshan like the will send a representative to vie for the position of Grand Champion. What did they do? Also knowledge? This year, the gala is being held alongside the championship. Hype. So the mood in the city is, as they say, at an unprecedented fever pitch. Ooh. Got it! Cool. Ooh! <laughs> Thanks so much for the detailed explanation! Yeah. You're most welcome. Answering questions regarding the Academia Extravaganza is my job. And... Uh, I actually do have something I would like to ask the two of you. A commission, you say? I like how earlier when he said, yeah, it's pretty neat or whatever, I was like, you know what isn't neat? That ugly badge you're wearing, but he's kind of hiding it now. He's ashamed. Huh? Need our help with something? Commissions. Well, let me begin by saying that this year's Academia Extravaganza is of utmost importance to us. Because it's the first one since our Archon is back. Lesser Lord Kusanali and the Sages came up with a plan for the Academia to recruit oh. talented people from the desert starting cool. next year. That's exciting. As such, we've invited a great number of desert dwellers to take part in this festival. Yeah. So they can hopefully experience the Academia's atmosphere ahead of time. That's cool. I've heard that the two of you are famous across both the rainforest yeah. and desert. Yeah, you're right. With your participation, especially nah, in the Inter Darshan Championship, yeah. more people will definitely come to appreciate the festival. No, nah, of course, of course. Didn't you just say only Darshan representatives can take part, though? Exactly! Or do you mean you want us to join a Darshan? <laughs> Ugh, but then we would have to deal with exams and essays and stuff like that. What she says. No need to worry. The championship participants have already been selected. Okay. I mean to invite the two of you as guest commentators. Commentators? Your job will be to observe and record every part of the competition. Uh, when, when I commentate anything on stream, I always get called a jinxer. The commentator curse is real. There's no pressure. Just follow each match and enjoy the festival. Aside from that, we'll also prepare some compensation for your oh. efforts. We won't have you working for free. Wow, Moro and food. That kind of sounds like a sweet deal. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Who are the other participants, anyway? You can head over to the festival venue later. Okay. An organizer there will introduce each participant. Pretty exciting. Some of them even might be people you recognize. Wow, what a tease. I'll leave it at that for now. Wow, you got me so excited. So, how about it? Would you like to take this commission? See, commission? Yeah, sure. We'll give it a go. Wow, having fun while getting paid? <laughs> this sounds awesome! <laughs> yup. The main event venue is at the outskirts of the Citadel of Regzar, and the organizer you're looking for is Karina. Mm -hmm. Tell her the situation and she'll get you set up. Sounds nice. The championship is going to begin soon. I wish you a good experience serving as commentators. Thank you. If you have any doubts, come find me anytime. Sure thing. Alrighty, off we go! 
Bye. Here we go. Let's start it. A Parade of Providence, Act 1. Comings and goings. Anything else we guess? Is there anything else I can help you with? I was asking you that. <laughs> <laughs> and then he doesn't, uh, he doesn't let me ask any questions. What an animal. Anyway, bit of a spoiler. Uh, it was very painful, but I did get this guy. Come at me. And I love his animation for charge attack. It's so cool. Oh, nice little stage here. Welcome, one and all, to the Thanks. Academia Extravaganza. Hype. Now then, allow me to reveal the prizes for this iteration of the Interdarshan Championship. Okay. Fabulous monetary rewards. Research <laughs> funds, a limited edition Genius Invocation TCG what? card, and the right to wear the Diadem of Knowledge. No way. I believe that I need not elaborate as to how this is a symbol of great honor. Diadem of Knowledge, that would look so cute on us though. She should be Karina, right? Yeah, she sure looks like a Karen... I don't know, I tried to make a joke, it was bad. Looks like she's in the middle of something. <laughs> uh-huh. Let's wait till she's less busy, mm -hmm. then go introduce ourselves. Let's talk to her manager. The Diadem of Knowledge. Mm -hmm. What a perfect work of art. I know, right? <sighs> Every time I see it, I feel like I'm losing myself in its beauty. Me? The one who oh. proves fit to wear it must be a rare oh. genius indeed. The hat, oh. I believe that most of you have already seen the Diadem of Knowledge mm -hmm. or have heard tales about it. Well, I just saw it. Twenty years ago, a researcher named Sachin bought it for a large sum of mora before donating it to the Academia. <laughs> Interesting. The generous championship prizes are also sourced from his sponsorship. Wow. Before we begin, allow me to express our gratitude to this researcher, oh. who cannot be with us right now. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? The intrigue starts. Brother lore! No? Things can only get worse. Yes. Things can only go from bad to worse. Uh, who are you? What is this place? Human nature begets conflict, and conflict begets ruin. Is this From like... the beginning, the seeds of wickedness have been... The sage before he went insane or something? Well, he seems pretty insane already, to be fair. But... Hey! Stop spitting out! I'm sorry, I'm not... it's not intentional. Hyman called out to you, but you didn't respond. You okay? No. Did you stay up late without telling Paimon? Always. I, I was... Alright. I'm sure we're all more than ready for the championship to begin. Karen, I was talking. Now then, let's invite our six Darshan representatives oh. to the stage. Oh! Our contestants are... Yeah? Tainari! Representing Amorta! Tainari! Whoa! Biology! Whoa! That's just kind of cool. I like these intros. The cool pose. <laughs> Representing Spontamod! Sino! Elementalism? This is cool. I like these intros. No, oh, Layla. That's cool Representing as well. Representing Ritalahist! Layla! Ritalahist. Illuminationism? Okay. I like your little finger tap. That was cool. Faruzan! Oh my god. A wig! Representing Herobotot! Faruzan! I'll be honest, Faruzan's my fave so far. Sem semiotics. I'll not pronounce it. What about that? Okay. Of course, of course. Representing Kasharawar! Kabe! Technology. Interesting. And who were the last ones? Is Bahumana's representative not here yet? <laughs> I have no idea who this would be, honestly. I've I I heard so much about these like different um, what do you even call them? Different groups? And I I couldn't tell you what's what still, even after having just seen them. Make a spectacular entrance. These introductions are pointless. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Bob, what's up, Bob? Uh, wait a sec. Why is he Bahumana's representative? Let's go, Bob! Because this is the he he chose him. Finally, our final contestant is Bahumana's representative. <laughs> hat guy! Hat guy? What do you mean, hat guy? You mean Bob? I hate that you call him hat oh, guy. So that's hat guy. I think I've seen him before. Nah, this is. Nah, nah, this is so lazy. You should have recorded Bob as an audio segment. Uh, you know who he is? Do you? I've heard that he's a researcher from a different country mm -hmm. who nominally belongs to Vahumana. Yeah, Word sure. Word is that he's written a lot of political analyses. Mmm, yeah. His manner of speech hasn't made him popular amongst most other Vahumana <laughs> researchers, <laughs> but his comings and goings are quite irregular, uh -huh. so he doesn't interact with others much. Yeah, sure. Aside from his more controversial aspects, his perspectives are considered quite incisive. Okay. 
Bahumana has seen a dearth of new talent lately, and some of its existing ones are not currently at the Academia. I see. So I suspect he might have been their only option. That's rude. It's just kind of weird. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would participate in competitions like this one. I don't think he wants to. I think he, he forced him to. I'm a bit puzzled too. Now that we have our six contestants, the championship will soon begin. Do we have one arc per person? Six arcs in this? Who will triumph this time around? I don't know. Hold on to your hats, because we're all on this ride together. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Releasing butterflies as, like, confetti or fireworks? That's really cool. Huh. We really do know a lot of the contestants. We know all of them, no? Oh, Except for right. Fetuzan. We're guest commentators, aren't we? Yeah. So figuring out everyone's reasons for participating is in our job description. Sure. Let's go ask them when we go say hi. Yeah. Especially him. Paimon still thinks it's weird that he's here. We gave him his name, and that's our buddy. I actually think this is the first time we see Faruzan ever. Oh, I was like, what the hell? There's two Kaveh, but I'm I'm Kaveh. Alright, here's two buddies we know very well. Hey, how's it going, champs? We meet again, you two. What's up? Hey, Tainari. We came here to check out this extravaganza event. Uh -huh. And then they invited us to be guest commentators. Yeah, and there's the kid that always runs from the stinky. Is that so? Uh -huh. I heard that there would be guest commentators recording the proceedings with cameras, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I didn't expect they'd be you two. No, I just say stuff about it. It's a pleasant surprise that you're visiting Sumeru again while I'm Please still the on leave. Oh, you are on leave. When everything comes together perfectly like this, I call it the biryani factor. Are you gonna pun? Because it's always rice to meet <laughs> stew again. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, no, that was good. Uh, Why are you guys mad? Look, I enjoyed it. So, Tainari, you're representing Amurta, mm -hmm. and Sino is representing Spontamai. Yeah. But haven't you both already graduated? Can alumni also take part in the oh, competition? Yeah, that was the whole thing too, huh? I had wondered the same thing. When I was told the news, I was actually more shocked than you are now. Really? I later found out that anyone who has been <clears throat> a part of a particular darshan has the right to participate. Oh. Graduation status has no effect. Cool. So that's a rule, huh? Mm -hmm. There are some restrictions, though. For example, <sighs> sages cannot participate. Fair enough. Any given person can only participate in one instance of oh. the championship, and so on. Okay. That's right. Also, there are two methods by which the Darshan representatives are chosen. Uh -huh. One is self-nomination, and the other is to be recommended by over half of one's Darshan. Interesting. You must have been the case of the latter, Tainari. Oh, that's a confident quote. I heard that quite a few of your juniors petitioned for your candidacy. Cute. Sometimes I wish I could clap a few of them over the head <laughs> and tell them to spend that time on studying instead. <laughs> Can you refuse? Well, you can. But after some consideration, I realized this could be a good opportunity for me. Sure. Next month, we're having a public lecture on ecology at Gandharvaville. Mm -hmm. If I participate in this event, I might be able to utilize its popularity to promote the lecture. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. Smart. I'm not that concerned about becoming the champion. Unlike someone here. So you've volunteered yourself, Sino. Yes. I'm using the last of my leave for this. When hmm, I heard of that a limited edition Genius Invocation TCG <laughs> uh -huh. card was one of the prizes, I signed myself up. I'm very surprised we haven't heard anything about Ito like mentioning this, because he, he was the first one to ever mention this game. Right? This year's card is a rare one indeed. It would be a shame if I missed out on it. Wait, is it some kind of super powerful card? It's broken, it's meta. No, it's a oh. very common one. <laughs> but it has a holographic layer. <laughs> What's the point? It's like shiny and like rare and cool. It's very cool. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Paimon meant apart from being very cool. It's very cool. That is reason enough. <laughs> I shall do my all to emerge victorious and add it to my deck. Nice. Uh, as someone who doesn't play cards much, I can't quite relate. Uh-huh. But it isn't surprising that everyone has their own reasons for taking part in the tournament. Sure. Question. Yeah, deal. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I'm surprised you were willing to come to Sumeru City at all. Why? Well, the atmosphere at the Academia has improved okay. immensely yeah. since Azar and his ilk were deposed. True. Master has been busy recently, so he hasn't had the time to instruct me or try to convince me to return to the Academia. Right. 
So I've been occasionally visiting the city these days. Trade and business are in greater abundance here, uh -huh. so it's much easier to acquire necessary research equipment. Yeah. All right. Man, good reasons, sure. I want to end on these. They're, they're kind of cool. Bobbert. Bobberito. I love that this is not edited. There's just actually... Look, I can move. It looks so smooth because it's just... It's actually just Bob. Me and Bob. Me and Bob holding hands. Wait. Me and Bob. Me and Bob looking at each other in the eyes. <laughs> We're both looking and they're like, Why did you call me Bob? Bob is cool. Um, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> just call me Hat Guy. <laughs> That's the name I use in Vahumana. That's so lame. That sounds like a nickname, not a real name. Yeah, your name is Bob. So I can't go by a simple, ordinary name? You can go by Bob. Fine, suit yourself. All right then, That's so guy. lame. Why are you taking part in the Inter Darshan Championship? Because he's lame. We're specially invited guest commentators, so play nice and answer our questions. <laughs> what the hell? You could be Matra for all I care. So what if I don't answer you? What then? I don't know. I'll just leave. Uh, you! <laughs> I'll tell you this much. I have an agreement with someone not to reveal my motives. Oh, wow. That's a tease. You're not plotting something in secret, are you? Maybe he is? Well, it's hard to say. Why don't you take a guess? I think it's Nihi. You already said it, Bob. Ugh. I once had it with you. <laughs> Fine. Be that way. Then we won't ask you why you're participating. Mm -hmm. Instead... Uh, why did you join Bahumana? Why would he answer anything at all? You two sure like to poke your noses where they don't belong. I'm not If I don't say anything, anything, are you going to annoy me to death? Yeah, maybe, actually. Yeah. <sighs> I heard that the Vahumana researcher named Akaba was researching the Tatarasuna incident. Oh. So I wrote a few essays to refute his points. Oh. Later, when I was bored, I wrote some commentary on societal issues in Inazuma. Really? I didn't expect Vahumana to consider me as one of them. <laughs> Someone even invited me to a lecture or whatever. Or whatever. From start to finish, it was just the wishful thinking of idiots. Uh. <laughs> a misunderstanding. There's your answer. Simple. Cool. Hi, but when guy. Lester Lord Kusanali heard about this, she went out Shocker of her way guys. to get me registered in Vahumana. Shocker guys. She used the name Hack Guy. Shocker. I'm so surprised. I'm thinking, wow, I could never would have guessed. Enough chit chat. You're better off wasting your time with the other contestants. Uh-huh. Someone's about to get very unlucky. Wanna guess who? You. How is anyone supposed to relax with you around? <laughs> I don't know. It didn't really it doesn't really stress me out at all. <sighs> We've gotta stay alert and keep a close eye on No him. we don't. It's fine. It's fine. Fine, he's just a hat guy. Look at him, he's got a hat. You already got a little hat. Enjoy the Inter Darshan Championship. Will do. This will be one to remember, I'm sure. Okay, <laughs> he really is teasing that he's about to end the world or something. I've been waiting for you for ages. That's not true. I've been waiting for you. You weren't even born yet. Everyone will do you really think you can see through me? I don't just want to read your mind. <laughs> it's not about reading through or seeing through you. It doesn't seem that Sumeru City has changed too much. Uh huh. I must get that limited edition card. Of course. Anything here? Terminate this treacherous I transport. I'm all right. Is there really a random event that popped up over there? It'd be so funny if I could aggro them. Everyone hold hands. And then everyone here would help me fight. Let's read their minds before the conversation, actually. I'll show them how fierce this competition can be. I, I this is actually the first time I'm gonna hear Fadazan speak ever. I see Layla. everything. Do I really have what it takes to represent the Ratawa Historian? Yeah, you got this. Cover. Cover don't work? Whoa. With that prize money, oh, it does work. I'll be able to move out of Alhatham's place. <laughs> nice. Respectable. Respectable <laughs> feels. Respectable wants. Cave! Farazan! Layla! Oh, look at the little wave. Huh? Oh, it's you. Why are you here? Hey, that sounds kind of mean. I'm actually an interviewer. Especially invited guest commentators. Our job is to record what happens during the competition. Uh huh. Is that so? Yes. In that case, I'll have to trouble you to catch the moment of my triumph on camera. <laughs> Did we speak to Kurosawa before? I don't remember at all. Remember to shoot from behind at a lower angle. Uh huh. You know, to capture a senior's class. <laughs> I like her wink though. There you go. It is the first official time. 
Photozon, enigmatic machinist. Machinist, I don't know how to pronounce it. Photozon, the researcher from 100 years prior, is a household name in Haravatat, but she is better known in Sumeru for, at large for her work in mechanics. Once she was trapped within a strange ruin and only escaped after much peril. Yet, a century had passed for the world she emerged into, and it was no longer the place she remembered. Whoa. Whether it be due to academic disagreements or the passage of time, she has quite a few things to say about the current state of the academia, and is not afraid to put her sharp tongue to use in commenting about other researchers. However, she could be quite easy to talk to, so as long as you call her Madam, that is. Cool. Don't get ahead of yourself now. Victory will obviously be mine. Ah, uh, guys, you know what? I think the true reward is the friends we make along the way. <laughs> You're far too young to even consider challenging me, <laughs> Kasharwar or Ratawahist. You're all children as far as I'm concerned. Wow, so evil, so mean. Uh, actually, I was going to ask, uh, how do you know me, Madam Farazan? Oh, you know, I really want to like Layla, but the, the slow voice gimmick is just it's too much. Huh? You don't remember? I sometimes see you in the library at night. Hmm. You even waved at me! <laughs> uh, what? Sleep waving. I don't remember doing that at all. Sleep waving. Huh. How strange. <laughs> However, this is not the time for curiosity. <laughs> I am Farozan, a household name in Haravatat. Mm -hmm. You are Layla from Ratawahist, I presume? She just got introduced. What do you mean, I presume? Uh, yes. Good. Then we are officially introduced. <laughs> See? Simple as that. <laughs> I kind of like, I kind of like photos that, I'll be honest. <laughs> I like respectful ones, by the way. Would you like to join my research group? <laughs> <laughs> no. No thanks. Madam Faruzan, I'm quite sure this counts as poaching. <laughs> Let's dial things down. I know, but it's been tough getting people these days. And research funding has been hard to secure. Okay, she's really funny. I like her. But once I, I want to do her hangout now. It'll be a different story. Uh-huh, I believe it. So you're just here to increase the amount of funding you're getting? I guess so. Well, not just that. What, are you curious about my reasons for participating in this yeah, event? Yeah, we're interviewing people. Bob is here to destroy people. Well, I suppose that's to be expected. Uh huh. You are our guest commentators, after all. You're pretty smart, Madame Farazan. There's been an influx of newly enrolled students, mm -hmm. and they will be paying close attention to this competition. Ah. If I do win, kind of I'm certain that then. there will be no lack of students knocking upon my door. Yeah, sure. Moreover, research resources will be Especially made available to the victor, nice so that will nix my funding issues. Uh huh. Therefore, my two juniors, I do apologize. But I fully intend to emerge triumphant. She has so many cool poses. How can you not like this? That's so cool. Uh, I'll do my she best as like well. Little, At least like I don't plan to lose too badly. <laughs> so why are you here, Layla? Yeah, why are you here? I don't know why, oh. but a lot of people recommended me. Uh huh. I didn't sign up myself. Okay. I just woke up to find my name on the announcement board. Sounds pretty awful. That sounds like what happened to Tainari. Uh huh. Him too. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm really nervous. I've been so worried about disappointing everyone that I've been losing sleep. Really? I couldn't tell. Stress not, young one. Oh. We must all experience failure to grow and mature. She's right. But Madam Farzan, I don't want to fail. <laughs> oh, seriously. Everyone has such nice reasons for joining. <laughs> and what's your story, Kave? Is it perhaps that you're roomies with someone? Must I say? No, uh, if you think it's awkward, you can you can keep it to yourself. Yes, you do. We got to record it. <laughs> um, well, we're scribes. You know, right? I want to buy some property. Well, that's actually you know what? Putting it like that is so nice. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you want to move out of all hate. Paimon. Oh, uh, oh, what? I'll hate them. What about him? <laughs> this has nothing to do with him. Paimon's misremembering things again. A classic Paimon. Oh, right. Sorry, Paimon has no idea what she was talking about. I know, we're used to it. So, you want to use the grand prize to buy a place, right? To build a place. Correct. Also, my father took part in the Interdarshan Championship uh -huh. when I was young, but he didn't win. That's a way cooler reason. You should have just said that from the start. Once I do, the right to wear that diadem will be mine. Uh -huh. In a way, I'll be helping my father fulfill a dream of How his. How cute. That's not a bad reason at all. Yeah. You have ambition, youngster. Faruzan, you and I... Oh, sorry, Madam Faruzan. I apologize. I apologize. Do not beat me up. Madam Faruzan, I'm glad we're on the same wavelength. Oh, 
although your chances with me here aren't great, I believe your father would be most proud if the diadem of knowledge were bestowed upon you. That's so sweet. Not that he'll have the chance to celebrate. No. My father passed away many years ago. They say he ran into quicksand while traveling in the desert. You want me to laugh. You cannot, you want me to laugh. <sighs> for you to have experienced such a thing. That must have been tough for you. Yeah. It's all in the past now, and mm -hmm. life goes on, doesn't it? Sure. Let's change topics. I don't want to bring the mood down. That's all right. All right. Earlier, you said that you want to use the prize Mora <laughs> to purchase a home. <laughs> Where do you live now? Do you live alone? <laughs> she just knows. She's just sussing out a Hatham story. Uh, uh, he well. uh, he lives in a, a tent outside the city. Hmm. I also heard you mention I'll hate them just a moment ago. <laughs> Isn't he also from her avatar? Huh? No. What? Are you two hiding something from me? Huh? No. Uh, no, of course <laughs> not. Why would you think that? <laughs> <laughs> Madame Farazan, <laughs> I think you misunderstand. Paimon's definitely not involved either. <laughs> We're going to go interview other contestants <laughs> now. Bye. <laughs> that, was, that was cheap, Paimon. You put him in some dookie. There is no other, no other contestants like anymore, though. moment now. Karina, Karina, wonderful to see you. Karina, why head empty? No thoughts, Karina. Oh, you must be the guest commentator exactly. to be class invited. I've heard about you. You have. I saw you two having quite the lively conversation, uh -huh. so I thought it would be best to wait. That's very sweet. Are you two free right now? Yeah, anytime. We were actually looking for you too. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Then please allow me to explain your job responsibilities in detail. Okay. First, please take these two things. A notepad and a pen. The first item is a custom camera from the Academia. Okay. Please use it to record the competition as it unfolds. Sure, it can film. Bet? The second is an event-specific locator that will flag all participants' locations. Uh-huh. It will also sound when one of them completes an objective. Okay. Wow! What a convenient little thing! Yeah, definitely. Aside from you two, there are two other commentators. Ooh. However, they will remain by the commentator's hey. area and will not be following hey. the contestants in real time. I'll hate them and Nilu. Speaking of which, you probably know them. I'll hate them and Neela. I already said their names, nerd. Oh, it's them! We have to go over and say hi, Lee. I guess so. Well, don't let me keep you, unless you have any questions for me. Have you seen a white-haired man around? Hmm? Why do you ask? I was lost in thought, saw the crown, was like, Oh, dude, I love Miss France, and I remember this old man that was talking to himself there. Really? I didn't see any such person. Could I ask when you saw him? Just before Academia representative went on sort of stage. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -boop, he stole my tongue. Strange. Yeah. I was on stage the entire time I know. and I didn't see anyone come I up. somehow do not realize this was in my head. I didn't see anyone either. I'm just crazy, sorry. <laughs> Perhaps you're mistaken. Yes. However, if you have any leads on that matter, you can talk to me at any time. You're very sweet, Karina. Dear hey, traveler, Paimon. Candace. Long time no see. Yes. <laughs> Candace! Yeah, Candace! You two are here as well! I missed you! Ah, so they're two friends of yours. Yeah. In that case, I'll take my you leave. You really want to leave, huh? May you all have a wonderful time during the extravaganza. You too, Karina. Take care. The Academia sent us both invitations. Cute. So Dia suggested that we come together. I love it. The villagers were also encouraging me to travel outside the village. Uh -huh. I couldn't find it in myself to turn them down. I'm so happy you're here. We're here now, so no point dwelling on that. Even though this extravaganza isn't a holiday or anything, it's still a big deal here in Sumeru. Yeah. Merchants from all over will set up shop. There'll be tons <laughs> of stuff to eat, use, and wear. Mm -hmm. More than you can count. Uh -huh. I'm already set on helping you buy two new outfits. Really? I mean, who wears the same thing at work and home anyway? You do. <laughs> Literally everyone into that, perhaps, but sure. Dude, is that teasing a Candace skin, please? I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> Just being able to relax and wander the streets freely has already made my day. Nice. So, Traveler, in life. Paimon, you two want to come with? Of course, what kind of question is that? Uh We'd no, you, stop! But we've got work no, we don't. Right I'm literally putting all this aside. Paimon can do it by herself. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Let's hang out together when you're free, then. Okay, maybe we can go and find them. Sure! In that case, Candace and I will head out first. Sure. Good clothing and fabrics are very much in demand. <laughs> if you snooze, you lose. Uh-huh. Oh, right. We should also get some accessories. I'd love to be there, too. I'd love to go clothes shopping. I mean, we need a new outfit, too. No need to rush. I think we'll have a better time if we take things slow. She's right. See you two later. Take care. 
Feel free to come find us whenever you have the time. Honestly, I could listen to Candace's voice any time of the day. Hyman didn't think that Candace and Dia would come. Hanging out with them sounds uh -huh. like a great time. I know. Still, looks like the competition's starting soon. Hmm. Let's go over to where all Haytham is and see what's going on. But I'd much rather go hang out with Candace and Dia, though. <laughs> Locator. That's so interesting. Is this a mechanic so you can like find... Where is it? Here it is. It doesn't even work. It expires May 15th at 4 a.m. I, I thought it was like, it'd be such a cool thing if it was an item. You could press Z, you know, and it would lead you to open world friends that you could dialogue with. I really wish... No! Damn it, I wanted to use E on them. I really <clears> wish <throat> we could see Candace. I will now announce the rules for the first round of the competition. Sure. Please listen carefully. Okay, no one's listening. During the opening ceremony, Academia staff released several cages of butterflies, and many of them are now fluttering within <sighs> Sumeru City. Uh-huh. That was pretty, though. Amongst these butterflies, three of them will be special swift flies. Oh. They have a different appearance and also fly a little faster. That's cool. Your objective this round is to find a swift fly and bring it to me. Wow. Three points will be awarded to the first participant to return. Two to the second, and one point to the That's third. That's so cool. That is all for the first round. Should you require clarification on anything, please ask any of the other staff. Not me. I hate being asked questions. <laughs> and then I walk in. Oh, Haytham's all business all the time, huh? Yeah. Hmm. That said, how did he get picked to be a commentator? Paimon's kinda curious. You just said it, because he's all business all the time. Finding three specific butterflies in a place as large as Sumeru City sounds rather improbable. Uh-huh. Hmm. If these swift flies behave anything like regular butterflies... Flower fields. I'm off. It will take some time to search every corner of Sumeru <laughs> City. Huh? You're going just like that? Yes. A champion walks the road to victory. <laughs> Alright then, Ash, catch him. <laughs> My dear Kasharawar Jr., I have a plan. <laughs> How about some cooperation between you and me? Okay. Cooperation? Yeah, well, one of you is gonna lose a point on that. Looks like everyone's got their own plans for this, Tuffy. Yeah, let's take a picture. We're supposed to go on stage next, right? Uh, let's wait and see everyone's reactions first. Sure. Bob doesn't care. Huh? Oh, imagine Bob flies. Wait a minute. Look, he seems to be observing the other contestants uh -huh. just like yeah. <laughs> Take a picture. <laughs> we were right not to let our guard down. What do you mean? What do you mean, Paimon? Do you remember those things we made previously? Oh. Huh? You mean friends? <laughs> it's time for them to shine. Friends? It looks like Farazan and Kave have some secret plan. Uh huh. Nice shoes, though. Oh, hello there. Madam Faruzan and I are discussing how. Shh. 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 Yep. Hush now. <laughs> The walls have ears around here. We should keep it a secret for now. Uh -huh. You'll find out what we have in store soon enough. All right. Come now, let's go. Before the others act. Sure. All right, That's cool. there's no time to lose. We're off to make our preparations. See you later. Take care, Kave. Who else? Hmm. Oh. This is basically what I'll need. Do you think you'll have any difficulties? Really? I have most of the reagents with me, and I can buy the rest. Okay. Kave, you're here too. Hey. Um, Tainari. You have a master plan, right? It seems that way. My hypothesis is that the swift fly's morphological variations won't <laughs> significantly affect their fundamental nature. Yeah, so I'm planning on using this to lure them out. Bait. Of course, I could be wrong. Yeah. Every mutation opens the door to new possibilities, yeah. especially when they are artificially introduced. Sure. Uh, details will have to wait until after the post-experimental <laughs> analysis. <laughs> for now, Kale and I are going to buy some reagents for our experiment. All right. All right. Well, uh, see you later. Take care. Okay, see ya! They do need to hurry. They're like, it's timed. We're kind of, like, giving Kave an advantage now, because mm. it's the first one we talk to, and we're keeping everyone else busy. What's up, Lei? Hey, Layla. You look a little worried. She's tired. There's no way she's going to go explore. She's going to pass out. Yeah... I have no mm. idea what I should do. <laughs> what color are these swift flies? Any color. Do they have special markings? I don't know. How do they differ from ordinary butterflies? They go faster. Oh, I can't even figure out these basic questions, and most of what I've learned in the past is completely useless here. Mm -hmm. Bob? Aren't people who research the stars supposed to have some extraordinary abilities? <laughs> 
Why not use astrology to solve it? Bob kind of nice. Oh, you're another contestant. That hat guy was it? Just call him Bob. Is it that you can't use astrology during the day? <laughs> <laughs> Guess that skill's less useful than I thought. <laughs> no, it's not like that. If it's daytime, all I need is an astrolabe. Okay. So, why don't you do that then? Uh-huh. Uh, Mona Magistus, the Mona. astrologist, said that those who constantly use astrology to obtain things that shouldn't be theirs will eventually lose the blessing from the stars. Hmm. Um, it's just something I read in an academic publication. Uh, I really love to read Mona's essays. That'd be an interesting interaction. You're overthinking it. Power is just a tool. <laughs> It just seems to me that you don't have the resolve to win this. Wow. Well, suit yourself. <sighs> Wallow in your immature ideals if you like. <laughs> hey! Seriously? That is... Just walking off yeah. after saying a bunch of mean stuff like that? That's very whack. Like, being an ass and then walking away and not letting the other person reply, that's gotta be peak ass behavior. Um, did I say something wrong no, just now? No, Bob is just an idiot. Do you do you. Uh... Thank you so much. No worries. I've made up my mind not to use astrology for this. Yeah. I think I'll just try my luck in the city. Good. Uh, to be honest, I've always been pretty good at observation, and if I'm fortunate, I might be able to find that special butterfly species. That's great. One thing I've noticed, I don't know if this is new with Layla's speech, but the commas get kind of ignored when she speaks. So it speeds up her, her dialogue by quite a bit. Which makes it way more bearable. Lord Sino seems to have found a swift fly. Bahir. Come on, let's go check it out. All right, Bahir. Really? Where? Ale. The butterfly flew Ale means high, come on, and he's go. he's chasing it now. Chop, chop. I think of these enemies I got earlier. Oh, no time to lose. Let's go see. Don't get ambushed. Uh, as expected of Sino. Uh huh. Ah, uh, actually, shouldn't you two go have a look as well? Maybe. The moment when he catches the butterfly will likely be one worth recording after all. Uh, sure, you're right. Ooh, I'll head into the city shortly to start my own search. All right. I'll see you later. Have fun. All right. In that case, let's go see Sino first. And then we can check on what everyone else is up to. I think we caught up with everyone already. Anything else? I'm going to try my luck in the city, too. Two? What do you mean, two? You were the one person that said that. Everyone hold hands. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, find Sino. I will in just a second. Oh, look, there's their portraits on the map. That's so cool. Hey, here's the camera. Smile. <laughs> Speak in a friendly and clear manner. Hey. That's what they told us to pay attention to, right? Yeah, yeah, you got this. Hmm. I wonder who will emerge as the champion this time. Wow, interesting thoughts. I'll hate them. Yo, Nilu. This is my first time commentating for such a competition. Uh -huh. I'm feeling kind of nervous. You got this. You got this. Nilu, how did you get picked to be a guest commentator? Because you're pretty. The staff said that spectators would be less inclined to come if the contestants and commentators were all from the academia. True. I don't quite understand it, but I'm happy that we're able to all meet again. You're just a normie. That's what they like. Oh, hey, thee. I didn't expect that you would be invited as well. Why not? Neither did we. Uh, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> how did you get picked, I'll hate them? Because I'm the boss. There were several factors. But primarily the recommendation of the sages. No, of course. I suppose they assumed that I'd have the free time for this job after resigning as acting grand sage. Sure. That said, acting grand they'd master probably monster. claim that my calm demeanor would help maintain fairness in the competition. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. N well, no. Not really. Yeah. The job itself is quite simple and effortless. And you get fruits in a bowl, dude. It's kind of sick. That's her, dude. That's her, though. Find Sinos. They're on the city. It looks like Sinos there, Cove is there, and I assume Photoson will be there too. Then Bob's over there. This is so cool. This is actually it is exactly what I was hoping the item would do. Except you don't have to use it. It's just permanently on the map. Very, very cool. Can I still interact with them? Are you sure it's all right to release so many? <laughs> is she just gonna grief the competition and release a bunch of butterflies? Have some faith. It'll be fine. Okay. What are they plotting? <laughs> Ariadeva. My manuscript got rejected again. That's unlucky, man. Those editors at Yahi Publishing House oh. are really strict. Oh, yeah, I'm teleporting up. I'm lazy. I was like, who defies this participant? Chicken? Chicken's taking part? That's crazy. Oh my god, this list looks so crazy as well. Look at that. Sino, Faruzan, Bob, Kavit, they're all just in one big waypoint. That's such a cool list. I love that. 
Sino camping on the branches of a tree. Thinking nothing. Hey, Sino. You got it? Oh, it's like a crystal fly. Stay put. Don't move. <laughs> Adventurer Sino, I'm in shock. How are we in shock? This is a shocker. This is a ticking time bomb. This isn't what I'm looking for. It's a... It's a mechanical toy. It's the one Faruzan and Kaveh left. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I heard that you caught a swift fly, Sino. Mind letting me see what it looks like? It's their plan. It's fake. It has to be. Hold on. Isn't this the mechanical bait that I released earlier? Yeah, it sure is. Why would you catch that instead of a swift fly? You literally put it out for others to catch bait. Wait a minute. If we consider this from a different angle, isn't it a good thing that the bait you made was convincing enough to fool even Sino? You released bait? That's right. During a previous interior all design all project, I felt that the artificial flowers on a wall were a little bland. Uh -huh. So I decided on placing a few moving mechanical butterflies to add some pizzazz. Oh, dude, that's so much extra pizzazz. It's so nice. In order to make them both small and nimble, I consulted with Madame Faruzan. Cool. Not long ago, because she's the small two of and us nimble. I get all it. those mechanical butterflies and released them into the city. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because it looks neat. <laughs> Need you even ask? Young people these days really do need to get out more. <laughs> Have you never played that game where you play strips of paper on a bamboo pole and wave it across a field of flowers to attract a whole kaleidoscope of butterflies? Uh, yeah. Yeah, totally. I do that all the time. No, I haven't. <laughs> Wait, so you're trying to... Yes. That's right. The butterflies within the city will mistake our mechanical bait for one of their own and follow them around. Okay. As long as we keep releasing and retrieving our bait, we can capture all the butterflies within the city. What comes afterward is just a matter of separating the swift flies from the others. Uh-huh. Huh. Guess that's one way to do it. Yeah. Do not underestimate the wisdom of your elders. I had already thought of this method the moment the round's rules were announced. My apologies, Madame Faruzan. Of course, we also owe much to this fine junior of mine here <laughs> for making such lifelike butterflies. <laughs> it seems that Kasharwar has not quite declined as far as I had thought in recent years. Their teaching skills at least seem to be intact. <laughs> well, I just stuck to what I do best. The idea was yours. Ah, oh, so humble. Ah, no need to be so polite. Once we capture all these butterflies, we shall split the points for this round. How, though? Ah, look. One of them is returning now. Mm. Huh? Wait a moment. Mm. Are my eyes deceiving me? Mm. Why don't I see any butterflies behind it? I don't know. That's because there are none. Seems like your plan has hit a stop. <laughs> Looks like the match continues. I'll be looking elsewhere. All right. Huh. Strange. Ooh. Has something else diverted their attention? Maybe Tainari's bait. Come, let's search in the direction the bait returned from. Mm-hmm. Too. Yep. I'm gonna guess, uh, Tainari. Oh, what? They're running! That's so cool! This is so cool! Uh, I have to admit, the fact this is so life lifelike, how do you say it? it? It feels so nice and alive. This is actually insane, how just making two characters run makes it feel so much like stuff is happening in the game instead of making us run there or teleport there by ourselves. That's really, really cool. I love this. Oh, there it is. Tainari knew it. I actually knew it. What's up, lads? I see everything. Mahar did have nothing to huh? say. Frozen? Kabe? Why did you two stop? What do you think, Paimon? How about the little crowd? Ah. So it was the Mortab. <laughs> Tainari! <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? The butterflies have all congregated here due to a special incense that I used. I want to. I want this incense. I want to catch all the crystal flies. It'd be awesome. I infused it with three different types of honey, and mm -hmm. the butterflies, following the fragrance, have gathered around me. Nice. Oh, butterflies I must have that, really sharp group. noses. Then, <sighs> wait. Do they even have noses? <laughs> <sighs> I've never seen one. He's perfect. They do not, in fact. And their vision isn't stellar either. <laughs> However, they can use their antennae to distinguish between scents, and their olfactory senses are generally quite advanced, I almost said allowing the them to detect floral nice fragrances from great distances. This is amazing. Oh, so that's how it is. <sighs> I had a pet butterfly once. Hmm. I picked wildflowers and placed them in its box, hmm. but... It would indeed, honey. <laughs> That's normal. Raising butterflies isn't difficult, but there are many things you should take note of. Okay. 
appropriate temperature, sufficient air, and a spacious environment are examples of such considerations. You must also ensure that the food you've chosen suits their palate. I really want to have a pet butterfly now. Most importantly, <laughs> you must curb your curiosity and avoid disturbing them while they rest. Otherwise, they may become stressed. That's actually so interesting, though. I would, you know what? I'm, I will go try cash a butterfly and have a big box for them, a transparent box, and I will try and raise a butterfly. I'll give you updates. Uh, sorry. I liked to poke at its wings at the time. Uh oh. Uh, humans tend to rear many creatures due to their aesthetic value. I know. But not all are suited to such a process. I know. Caring for living beings is hard work. Impulse alone is insufficient. Some prerequisite knowledge is always required. Yeah. You sure do know a lot. He is a cat himself, after all. Uh, I have a question, too. I bought a scarab not long ago, and it hasn't seemed very active. Can you help me figure out why? Maybe it's dead. I'd like to keep a dust bird as a pet. What are some key points I should consider? <laughs> Um, is it possible to keep a Rishbulin tiger as a pet? <laughs> uh, you know, I just, they're like fluffy. I like that. <laughs> all right. It seems like you all have a great deal of questions. <laughs> Which I cannot answer at this moment. But I am in the middle of the Interdarshan Championship at the moment, so I'm afraid I can't answer them all now. Besides, these are all normal butterflies. Let me propose an alternative. Next oh, month, smart. there will be a biology smart. lecture at Gandarvaville, and I will be sharing some interesting insights on living organisms there. What a smarty. If you're interested, you can attend that lecture, and if you should have any questions, just prepare them ahead of time. I'll answer questions after I finish speaking. Nice. <laughs> All right, I'll be there. Really of smart. Of course, please try to ask more rational questions. For example, hmm. whether you can raise a Rishbalin tiger as a pet or not is mainly dependent on whether you can overcome one in a fight. <laughs> Looks like Tainari's science lecture will draw quite a crowd. Yeah. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Was I listening in for that long? Yeah, you were actually interested too. Seems Kale's master does live up to his title as a teacher. Yeah. Madam Farozan, I've had a look around. Nearly all the butterflies in this area have been attracted by the incense. And yet, none of them are the special speedy ones. However, we can cast our bait further away to avoid this area. Yeah. Alright, then let's get moving. We shan't let all the butterflies get away from us if we can help it. Yeah. Seems like the competition's really heating up. Uh-huh. Let's go see how the other contestants are doing. This is great. That's, it's cool. I enjoy that. Hmm. The scent is starting to fade. <laughs> Imagine I just walk here, catch all of it. Seems the wind is stronger than I thought. The incense isn't going to last long. Yeah. All right. Well, yoink. This may turn a little. I didn't. I, I couldn't. But it also seems like they're not. They're actually not even the, uh, the special ones. What am I doing? Circumstances of other competitors. Bob? Where Bob? Oh, they're here now. Hello. Let's wait here. <laughs> seems my age is catching up with me. <laughs> What a banger. Please lead the swift flies back here. I'm really counting on you. It'd be cool to be able to see the butterfly fly around here, but nope. Alright, Bob time. Whoa! <laughs> hey Bob. Nothing uh, nothing crazy over here. Taking a sip, taking a little drink. A little break. What brings you to here? I don't just checking on you. Huh? You're here having coffee? <laughs> uh aren't you supposed to be a contestant? <laughs> Is there really any need for me to take part while everyone's running around like it's some sort of carnival? Uh-huh. Don't worry. I'll get involved once things actually get serious. Okay. Such as a fighting event? Interesting. Does he think anything? He doesn't think. He does not use brain. Layla. Oh, Layla has little dots above her head, which probably means that she has actual hey. news. Layla! Miss Layla. Layla! How are things going on your end? Yeah. Uh, I've been searching for quite a while now, but I haven't seen any sign of the swift flies yet. Hmm. Instead, I ended up catching a few <laughs> mechanical devices that looked very similar <laughs> to butterflies. Uh, I wonder where they came from. Ah, uh, probably heaven. Uh, looks like Farozan and Kaveh's devices are everywhere now. Yep. I'll keep up the search. That said, I've noticed that a number of butterflies in the city has already decreased a lot compared to when the event started. Are you surprised? Probably because the other contestants are coming up with their own exactly. ways to catch butterflies. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, I'll do my best too. 
Uh, huh? <laughs> As one flies in. What's this? Oh. That's so pretty. It's a good little bug. Could it be a uh, swift fly? Oh, what a coincidence. I guess I just need to catch it now, right? <laughs> if you feel that way, you can give it a shot. Oh, um, please wait. Yep. Aw, oh, there it goes. Acts in shock. It's so fast! I'm not that <laughs> outrageous, but well. they were only a little faster. They're very fast. <laughs> oh, that's the most energized I've ever seen Layla. Come on, traveler. Let's go too. Oh, are we gonna get a real open world experience oh, again? Give me a second Looks there, like Layla. She's actually running away. I've lost her. It's okay, I got you, Layla. <laughs> I can catch it. I'm right here. Okay, slow walk, slow walk. I respect it. The locator's no. going off again. The locator. So someone else finished too? Oh. That would mean that the one Layla's chasing is the last swift fly. Two people got him? Oh no. This is, oh, it's gonna fly right in Bob's hands, isn't it? It's gonna fly right in Bob's hands. Lay, you're about to get scammed, I'll be honest. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty Oh Oh, it just occurred to me that we should also get you a makeup box. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't think I'll end up using it. My queen! Maybe you won't, but it doesn't hurt to have one, right? Sure. Come on, just trust me on this one. <laughs> huh? Uh, who are you, and what do you want? This beautiful butterfly on your head. Uh, please, don't move. Don't move? Who sent you? <laughs> Dear. Don't worry, I can handle this. Now, tell me, what do you want? That's so cool. Oh! Whoa, that's so beautiful art. I love it. <laughs> I believe she's looking for this. Candace just caught it. Here, take it. I love Candace. A, a butterfly? Uh -huh. Was it on my head? Yeah, on the flower. Oh, you're... Candace. It's been a while, Layla. They know each other? What? What an arc! Friend of yours? Oh, wow! Oh, so she must be the one you were telling me about. Really? Huh? You two know each other? That's so cool. Oh, yeah. It has been some time. The first time I ever woke <sighs> up after sleepwalking, I somehow found myself in our village. <laughs> Where did you fall asleep? Candace was the one who took care of me then. That's one hell of a walk from Sumeri City. That's right. She didn't look well, so I gave her something to eat. Hmm. She said a lot of complicated things about astrology, the night sky, the stars. <laughs> Not sure I understood it all, but it sounded pretty enchanting. Nice. Right. Do you still want this butterfly? Mm -hmm. It seems like you were chasing it all the way here. She was? It's of little use to me, but if you don't want it, I can release it. No. Just let her have it. It's no big deal. <laughs> Just let her have it. The fly was flying so fast, but you were able to catch it like it was nothing, Candace. Uh huh. Oh, it didn't seem that quick, really. I was actually worried that I would injure it, <laughs> but I'm glad that didn't happen. <laughs> anyway, sorry about the butterfly thing, but the way you suddenly came running over like that, I thought you were hired to take us out or something. Classic Merc, guys. Anyone relate? Any Mercs in the chat? Huh. On second thought, I guess I've never seen an assassin that's <laughs> tired with dark bags around their eyes. <laughs> oh, you must be taking part in the championship. <laughs> Take it from me. Don't let it stop you from getting some rest. She's right. Uh, I'll do what I can. Uh, thank you. <laughs> hmm, we'll be on our way then. See you later. Bye-bye. Alrighty, let's bring the swift fly back together with Layla. Nice. That was cool. I assume that's the end of our first little arc here. Yep, everyone's gone on the map. Very cool, very unexpected turn, but I like this. This plot's kind of interesting. It seems we have a third contestant who has returned with a swift fly. Uh-huh. With that, the first round has come to an end. All right. I anticipate that all of you will keep up the effort for the second round. Dismissed. Uh, really? Um, your closing statement sounded so... <laughs> how do I put it? Decisive? Sure. Well, you could certainly stand to try being more decisive, Nilu. It would help you live more freely. He's right. Hang on a second. Who were the first two contestants with swift flies? For some reason, it's probably going to be Bob out of nowhere. I think Sino's going to have one as well. Tainari was first. And as for the second, it's being discussed right now. Oh, because it's it's both Faruzan and Kave, so they don't know who to give the points to. So Tainari was first. Interesting. 
Hey, I'll hate them. I think I've come up with a good idea. Just give us both one point. Second place gets two points, right? Yeah, see. Can't Madame Faruzan and I split the points between us? Yeah, of course. Quite the imagination you have there. I've read the championship handbook from cover Ooh, to cover. They're gonna get zero I never points. saw DQ. any rule which DQ. permits that. Then we can just add a rule. <laughs> do you really think I'd do that? No. Especially not for him. Come on, you're not going to stand in the way of my victory, are you? <laughs> well, you're free to send the organizing committee an application outlining your naive proposal. We'll get back to you within three working days. <laughs> three working days? It'll be too late by then. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, even dreaming is going to cost you. Uh huh. Ah, Paimon gets it now. Kaveh and Faruzan found the second swift fly together. Yeah. But the rules say that only one person can get the point. Of course. <sighs> oh well, the rules are the rules. Since you Aww. call me madam and politely ask for my help, I shall give you these points. Madam Faruzan, that's so sweet. So I'll put the points under Kaveh's name then? Yes. No. If I take these points, won't that only detract from your contributions, Madam Faruzan? <laughs> you might be all right with that, but I cannot do it. Not in good conscience. Wow. I don't have any problem with it. There are two more rounds after all. Losing one isn't a major setback. They're so sweet. But if you insist, I have another method. Yeah, that's we a good idea. We can draw lots to see who will receive the points. That's a good idea. Rock, paper, scissor it. L lots, huh? Uh-huh. What? Is there something wrong with that idea? He thinks he's unlucky. No. Well, let's do it. <laughs> All right. I'll get the paper needed for the lots. Give me a moment. All right. Everybody watches Kave suffer a glorious and forthright defeat. <laughs> oh, seriously? Every time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it appears that luck was on my side this time. Luck was not on my side when I was trying to get a Kave. It took me 90 pools to get no, one. you do deserve it. I'm just lamenting my bad Lament. luck. Perhaps... <sighs> Perhaps that's why my life is rife with troubles. Uh-huh. <laughs> Indeed. It's rare to see anyone with such terrible luck be so willing to decide victory via lots. Bennett, ex covet arc when? And what would you know about that? I just <laughs> no, we can save bickering for later. Record the points under Farazan, and that'll finally bring the first round to a close. Okay. The second round will be held in the desert. Oh. We'll be moving our commentator stand over to Aru Village. Oh, where I have waypoints now, Desert Explorer, I'm so happy. Let's meet up in Aru Village once everything is ready. All right. I'll announce the details of the second round then. Cool. Till then, you have some free time. I'm off the clock at this point, <laughs> so it's farewell for now. <laughs> Wait, I'll hate them! You... <laughs> <laughs> Don't be upset, Kaveh. Sign can carry away your good luck, you know. Really? Oh, so that's how it works. In that case, I'll take in some deep breaths. Same. Maybe that'll help me make up for all the luck I've lost. Remind me to do that next banner. <sighs> it's really the exhale no is kind of a sigh, isn't Two it? Points aren't enough to decide victory or defeat just yet. Yeah. I'll win the next round. You'll see. All right, man. Looks like you've you managed got to this. pick yourself back up, young man. <laughs> good. I must warn you, though, that I'm quite familiar with the desert. Really? You'll have to try your best if you don't want to lose. All right, Madame Farazan. I'm no stranger to the desert either. I'll be fine. Okay. All right, then. That's enough chit-chat for now. I'm going to check the area out. Cool. I really like Madame Farazan. So the current standings are Tainari in first place, mm -hmm. Farazan in second, mm -hmm. and Layla in third. Mm -hmm. oh, guess we should also take a nice break before yes. the next round starts. But... Where should we go first? Uh, get a snack. Why, you two look a little lost. More if you're not sure where to start enjoying the Academia Extravaganza, uh, then may I suggest that you have a chat with our boss? Your boss? Your boss? <laughs> Who's that? Do we know that? I have no idea. <laughs> well, only the most famous merchant in all of Sumeru, Lord Sangama Bay. Who know? <laughs> Dory, really? Precisely. Long time no speak. Our boss sent me to inform you two that she'll be waiting for you at Sumeru City's North Gate. All right. Sure. Thanks. So we can get a point recap here, I guess. Interesting. Hat guy zero. Sino zero. Covet zero. Unlucky guess. You got this time. Hey, Dory. Oh, well, if it isn't the traveler in Paimon. What's up? Hey, Dory, are you here to attend the Academia Extravaganza Q? Uh, apparently. Of course. Getting free money. You are practically flocking to Sumeru City. Yeah. You couldn't ask for a better opportunity to do business. Very fair. This is one of the entrances into the city, and it's very close to the Wisdom Gala booths. <laughs> There'll be an endless stream of customers. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can already hear the <laughs> wow. going clink, clink, clink as they fill my corn pouch. Are you allowed to just set up shop anywhere? Well, is there anything you'd like to purchase? No. We've got everything you need and deals that can't be beat. I don't know why I'm here, I'll be honest. <laughs> Paimon. Well, do you have anything to eat? Oh, God. Wait, we're celebrating the extravaganza and you're only thinking of eating... <clears throat> yes. I mean, of course, we've got lots of things to eat. She's just going to sell her lunch for an extra big price. Also consider some of the great bargains we have going mm. on. The Wisdom Gala is about to begin, and once it starts, each of the Darshans will prepare a small challenge for everyone. Okay. And just between us, I have some super booster supplements for sale. Really? Eat just one to boost both your strength Drugs. and dexterity for a short time, allowing you to overcome <laughs> any challenge. Booty is literally a drugs dealer, what the hell? Uh, no thanks, we'll pass. These little challenges are gonna be a cinch for the two yes. of us. Just you watch. Yeah, she's right. Anyway, Paima just wants something to eat, please. If you don't have any food, then we'll just go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Mora is Mora, after all. Oh, what would you like to eat? Chop city. Mm, well, Paimon's pretty <sighs> hungry right now. Uh, do you have any patching? Let me see. <laughs> in that? Packed in that? Warm meals? Oh. This is a huge job, isn't it? Oh, thieves. We hear them. If this works out, we'll be set. Uh-oh. Oh, they're gonna try and heist the crown. Here you go. Two servings of touching. Wow. See? I told you there's nothing Lord Sangama Bay can't procure. Uh-huh. Yay! Uh, huh? What are you looking at, Trevor? I thought I saw someone just now. Oh? Who? Someone we know? Mmm, two thieves. Meh, never mind. They're gone. Was it someone suspicious? Yes. Have we attracted some unwanted attention? <laughs> Not you. Huh? What's happening, Dory? Is there something else going on? Mm. I don't know who you saw just now, but I do have some hard-to-come-by information about the extravaganza. <laughs> if you want to know more, we can talk business later. Mm hmm Of course. There you go. Parade of Act Complete, Act 1, Comings and Goings, and this will probably start this beautiful animation. With the crown, there it is. Definitely the thing those two people were after. Wow, six minigames? Is it? Kind of cool. And here we go. Talk to Dori for information. So this, I believe anyway. Um, how does how do we, how does it work? Oh my goodness! I think these are all the event quests, like the different ones. And this is the part two. So I'm gonna take a break now, and I'll record the rest when I feel like it. Take care. See you then. All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Today is a very cold day, but it's nice and cozy. Got a hoodie on. Make sure you're comfy too. That incident from 20 years ago is the title of this one, which is kind of weird. Ask Dori for information. Dori says that the latest update, or she has the latest update on the Academia Extravaganza. Why not go and hear it? That incident from 20 years ago, was that when the crown was bought and all that? There's some curse on it, is that? I don't remember exactly. Yelon's trying to join me. He decided to buy information from me. Um, why is there no chat? I don't understand. I thought it were voice acted. Am I doing the right thing? I'm not. I knew I wasn't. What is this? I don't know what it is, but it's not what I care about. Hey, never mind that. Uh, that was a bad intro. I was recording the, the, whatever that side quest was. Maybe I'll put it at the end still. But uh, I realized when I was talking to Kashmir over here that he's not even voice acted. I knew something was wrong. So instead, let's go to Ari Village and actually keep going with a voice acted quest. Hey, them Nilu. What are I thinking this time? I'm not sweating too much, am I? No. Oh, it'd be so embarrassing if that was caught on camera. Imagine sweating in the desert. Cringe. The weather today might affect this round. Ooh, will it now? All right, let's hear it. The whole gang is here. Um, is it me, or are the bags under your eyes even darker than during the last round? Are you alright? <laughs> uh, thanks for the concern, Kave. I just... <sighs> haven't been sleeping well lately. Nothing new. Even though I try to fall asleep, I can't get the championship out of my head. Mm -hmm. And before I know it, it's morning again. Well, at least time is passing by quickly. <sighs> I know the feeling. That happens to me too when I'm agonizing over my blueprints. Yeah, well, we're all admitting that life is way too stressful. Do you have any tips for dealing with that? Uh, yeah, Dori has a fix for that, I'm sure. To be honest with you, no. You could say there are many things that don't have a quick fix and can only be endured. So true. Hmm. 
I suppose you can think of it as something akin to an illness. Sometimes there's no effective cure, so you just have to let things run their course. Maybe Tainari can like mix up a little drink and you fall asleep? I don't know what's stressing you out, but I can feel all the anxiety and pressure coming from you. The next round's about to start, so chin up and do your best. Oh, I wonder if there's like more deep Layla lore we don't know yet. Oh, okay. You do your best too. Interesting. Looks like everyone's here. I will now explain the second round to you all. I didn't see Tainari or Sino. There are three leyline disruptors buried in the area around Aru village. Okay. These devices can imitate the effects of leyline disruption and will constantly interfere with the environment. Whoa. Your goal is to shut them down. Spicy. The first three who manage to finish this task will be awarded four, three, and two points accordingly. Oh, the, the scales are up. What do you call it? The, the stakes. The stakes are up. Note that each person may only bring a set amount of food and water with them. Oh. And that leaving the designated competition zone will result in disqualification. Wow. That's well, kind of spicy. What do you think? Want to team up again? <laughs> I shall consider letting you have the points on account of what happened in the previous round. Wow. That's all right. I've been here many times, and in any case, machines are one of my specialties. Ooh. I doubt this will be particularly difficult. Okay. It's good to see such confidence in a youngster like yourself. I also happen to be well acquainted with this place. Let's see who will find these devices first. This is cool. But aside from us, you should remember that there's a favorite for Champion. Really? We must be careful of him. Who would this be? A favorite to win? Who is it? Yeah, don't say it's hot guy. Shh, not so loud. Ah. I mean that boy, Tainari. Yeah, of course. He took first place in the previous round. And if he does so again this time, we may as well declare <laughs> this competition over. <laughs> I heard that you solved the Vidya Forest's leyline effluence problem with him not long ago. Mm-hmm. Since this round involves resolving a machine simulated leyline disruption, it should be a simple matter for him. Right. Hmm, that's true. It does look like his odds of winning are pretty high. Sure. He already has Kale, who is an excellent pupil. If he were to win this round as well, then wouldn't we just be letting him have all the fun? Yeah. As his senior, it's my solemn duty to hmm. prevent such an inequitable arrangement from happening. <laughs> I'm off. All right, champ. <laughs> Look, Madame Farizan. I'll get going as well. See you later. Good luck. I respect it that they're not teaming up How again. How are you feeling? I think I'm okay. But I'll take things slowly for now. Oh, is he sick? What's going on? Uh, is this all the water we're getting? <laughs> Sorry. That's what the rules say. Well, this round seems to be about how quickly you can shut down the devices. Uh-huh. It's also testing your ability to survive in tough conditions. Uh, we figured. Uh, I knew it'd be harder than I had expected. Yeah. So, we'll either need to find the devices as quickly as possible, or we'll have to save our energy and wait for an opportunity. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'll head out shortly. Thanks a lot, Nilu. You can drink as much as you want while you're here, right? You're welcome. Please take care of yourself. I'd well, hope. There goes everybody. Uh huh. Are you? Did you leave those two footsteps there, Paimon? So, who should we visit this time? What Paimon think? We haven't even seen Hat Guy yet. Oh, right! Didn't Farozan say that Tainari's the favorite to win? Sure. Let's go look for him first. Alright. Deal. How are we not surprised Hat Guy's not here? A parade of Providence Act 2 Beginnings and Endings started. I guess. Now that the round's begun? Who do you think will win, I'll hate them? The ones who find the disruptors will win. Oh, wow. Good good call. Good call. Well, um, yes. But aren't you just repeating the rules? I'm sorry you have to deal with this, Nilu. What an exhausting man to be around. The weather today might affect this round. What an exhausting dude. Find Tainari. Whoa. I'm gonna go to the others as well. Such as Madame Faruzan. Hmm. Let me see. Where would they put one of these disruptors? Probably in the ground. <laughs> All right, good dialogue, good talk, good talk. Cuff is not too far away. Oh, no way! Oh, <laughs> can I be performed during combat? Leave me alone. Okay, he gave up. Hey, a desert fox? Yeah. Why would there be desert foxes here? <laughs> oh, whoa! Stop biting my clothes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what a cool interaction. No worry, I got you. Got him. Lots of meat for my chop suey. All right then, Mahamatra. What's going on here? The sun is especially intense today. Yeah. I hope Tainari will be all right. Yeah, I'm worried about that. What's Probably he? Probably not. I should go check on him. What a homie. What's up with him, though? Give me more info. Maybe we're gonna find Tainari passed out in the sand, begging for help. But first, we must go see Bob. Where is Bob? Down. 
Bob, I hate that everyone's calling you Hat Guy. I'm actually mad about it. You have such a nice name. <sighs> this seems more annoying than the last round. Uh-huh. That's fine, though. I'll find some place to sit and watch them scurry. I feel like he, he, he knows that the last round is like, if you win the last round, it compensates even if the first and second round get won by the same person or something. He's not playing until the last round, it seems. Or he's just not playing at all. <laughs> Might also be a thing. Quick, before Covey's clothes get eaten. I got him, guys. Don't worry about it. Protector of fashion. Nari, you good? Wait, no tell me he's actually gonna be passed out. Huh? Weird. The locator says that he should be around here somewhere. He's gotten taken out. Look, the vultures are here. Oh, it's actually just normal birds. <laughs> Can you hear us? Nari. Nari, he's over there. See? He's kinda he's actually struggling. You're right. Oh no. Oh he no. looks like he's fainted. Yeah. We have to help him. So I was the plan. Tainari, are you okay? Nari? <sighs> It's so hot. Uh huh. Oh, so you passed out because of the heat? Mm hmm. Uh, are you not used to getting around in the desert? Apparently not. He's used to the wet rainforest. Uh, that's right. I usually bring lots of water when I go to the desert, precisely to avoid this situation. Ironically, I've been drinking during that voice line because I'm also thirsty. I went through all my water very quickly, and with the effects of the disturbed ley lines, I started feeling dizzy. Well, at least you found one. My ancestors, the Voluka Shuna, were originally from the desert. Yeah. But I guess this is what happens when a species migrates. Mm -hmm. They become intolerant of their original environment. Yeah. <sighs> this isn't the time for a history lesson. Let's get you some water. We can't, he'll get DQ'd. Humans, such fragile beings. Your bodies can't even survive extreme changes in the environment. Okay then, failed god. You consider yourself strong? Here, take this. Let him drink it. No, he'd get DQ'd. Oh, more beautiful art. I love this. It's actually so pretty. I can't wait to get the drawing again. Are you serious? This had better be just normal water. <laughs> hey! You're leaving already? It's fine. I'm sure it's just normal water. Paimon really doesn't get that guy. Guai. What's he up to? Ugh. Anyway, let's focus on helping Tainari drink some water first. Mm -hmm. Tainari starts to recover after getting some water. I'm feeling a little better now. <laughs> uh, thanks, you two. You should thank Bob instead. Look at this. It's the shape of a heart. How cute. Oh, it wasn't just the two of us. Just, just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Sorry. Found you at last. A bit late, bro. A bit late. Sino, you're here too. Hello. I was concerned, so I came back to check on you. Will you be able to go on? My heart will go on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll, you'll be fine. The fur on my tail is so dry, it's practically been singed right off. Uh-oh. I don't see any purpose in pushing myself beyond what is reasonable. Winning. It appears I'm not suited to this particular round. I should probably just return to Aru Village and rest. Well, you're DQ'd anyway, right? Really? So you're backing out? Well, it seems that way. Yes. I do have my results in the first round to serve as a buffer, True. so even if I forfeit this round, I still have a chance to turn things around later. Yeah, uh, you know, the thing is, it's all about the friends we made along the way anyway. Withdrawing now will allow me to conserve my energy. Continuing to push onward would be counterproductive. Very decisive. I agree. A wise decision. Let's get you back to Aru Village. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. I doubt it. I can make it back on my own. I doubt it, Nari. Oh, stop trying to be so polite. Come on, we'll help you back to Aru Village. Yeah. Bring Tenari back so he can rest. Bring him back. I'm by myself. Well, I'm going to Lele, it seems. Lele was also like, yeah, you know what? I'll just chill at home for now. This is not Tainari at all. <laughs> I guess we're taking this path for some reason. How are you feeling now, Tainari? Do you want to rest some more? There's some shade here, so we can stop for a while. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's do that. Hmm. Layla was here, though. Wow. You saw her down there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sino and Tainari. <laughs> Doesn't get scared. And you've got the Traveler and Paimon with you. Hello. Oh, hey, Layla. Yeah. The sun was too strong, mm -hmm. so I decided to take cover here for a while. Fair. What about you? Uh, are you all done already? Oh, no, we're also leaving. 
Unfortunately not. I'm not quite as capable as I thought. I intend to withdraw from this round. Sino and the Traveler are escorting me back to Aru Village. Yeah. W withdraw? Can you even do that? <laughs> She's gonna do it too. I believe the rules do provide for such a situation. Alhatham did say that the act of leaving the competition grounds would result in disqualification from the round. Yeah. Didn't I ask you if you were all right before this? Mm -hmm. If you had just decided to withdraw then, you wouldn't have had to suffer. He's right. Well, I had to try, didn't I? He's also so right. I tried and it didn't work out. And now I'm backing out while I can. Yeah. When I get back, I'm definitely going to make a batch of sun-resistant <laughs> oil. Next time I venture into the desert, I'll be prepared. Well, you couldn't know. You got the rules right before going in. By the way, you're Layla, aren't you? You don't look very well yourself. Will you be all right? Uh, I did feel a little faint when I first <laughs> entered the desert. <laughs> but I feel a lot better after resting here for a while. I thought she was going to say, but I always feel like that. Be careful not to push yourself too hard. Uh, don't worry. I'm just... Sleepy. Feeling the pressure? Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, you can tell? No, no, I can't tell at all. Your expression is similar to the ones I see on criminals' faces when I interrogate them. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm still not sure whether I have what it takes to represent the Ratawahis Darshan in the championship. Mm -hmm. Most people voted for me because of all the rumors surrounding me. And to be honest, those rumors don't really mean anything. Yeah. Now I don't know how to deal with all the expectations they've put on me. Mm -hmm. Even the people who usually criticize me voted for me this time. Uh, so I feel like I have to live up to their expectations somehow. Sure. So their expectations are putting pressure on you. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, I heard that you were voted in as well, Tainari. Uh, how do you deal with it? Oh, he's confident. To be completely honest, I don't really feel any pressure. <laughs> yeah. Firstly, those who expect things from you do not necessarily do so for benign reasons. On the other hand, those who do consider your feelings certainly wouldn't want you to push yourself. True. Next, we are researchers. Our primary duty is to interact with knowledge, not to meet others' expectations. Also true. As for me, I took part in this competition to advertise for an academic lecture at Gendarvaville next month. I'll obviously try my best during the competition, but I won't let any additional pressure get to me. Nice. I think you can also try to find a clearly defined goal. That may help you. Huh. I understand. Uh, thanks for your advice. Nice. Uh, I'm absolutely parched after talking so much. <laughs> I've still got some water with me. <laughs> no, I'll be all right. We aren't far from Aru Village, so I can go the rest of the way myself. True. You should get back to the competition. Don't you want to win that limited edition card? I'd want it. Yes. All mm. right, then. <laughs> Your spirit will live on through me. <laughs> He's not dead, Sino. Hey, don't talk like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm not dead, Sino. <laughs> I literally said that with the same comma Sino at the end. <sighs> Everyone, I'll be heading back now. See you after the round ends. <laughs> That's so funny. Darn it, Sino. I'll continue searching for the Leyline Disruptor. The Layla, Layla Disruptor. Sleep. Well, no sleep. Lack of sleep. Are you feeling better now, Layla? Yeah. I feel like some of the weight has been taken off my shoulders after chatting with Tainari. That's great. It's been a long time since I first left my hometown to come to the academia. And every day here has been so precious. Mm -hmm. But of course, there have been some rough times. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everyone's life. All sorts of complex astrological models, countless quizzes, and essays that took all my brain power to barely finish. Mm -hmm. Each of those things are like huge boulders barreling at me, forcing me to continue running forward. When I was chosen as my Darshan's representative, it felt like another boulder was added to the ones already rolling behind me. Every time I close my eyes, I think of all the people I disappoint if I mess up. We'd never be disappointed in you. We'd prefer if you'd be happy, Layla. Yeah, I think that's what Tainari was trying to tell For me. For sure. 
You're our good friends, which is why you didn't stop him from dropping out of this round, and why you don't feel disappointed in me. Sure. That's right! No need to feel so down! Uh, that said, he did also say that he hopes I could have more concrete goals for taking part in this competition. Right. Uh, I don't have any now, but I'll give that some thought. Good luck. Anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. I appreciate that. You still have to record the other contestants' progress, don't you? Yes. Perhaps they've had some breakthroughs while we've been chatting. Mm -hmm. True. We should go look for the others. Okay, well, we get it. It's left. Covet. Tainari's dropped out for the and round. And Faruzan. And, and maybe Bob. Uh, you could go see how Madam Faruzan's doing. That's a great idea. Okay, let's go look for Faruzan. Let's go. I, I like Layla, but I, I, it's so slow. I cannot handle her speech. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Alright. I hope so. Hey there, madam. Anything? Hey. Nope. Still not. Hey there, Faruzan. Have you made any progress? Anything? Ah, you're just in time. I'm about to start digging right here. Okay. Oh, you found the Leyline Disruptor already? Well, she thinks she does. <laughs> Such a simple problem could never confound me. Oh, I'm feeling so confounded. You guys know the confounded emoji? <laughs> Not long after entering the desert, I discovered a primal construct that was acting abnormally. Mm -hmm. So I followed it all the way here. Okay. Once I got near here, it suddenly disappeared. Something unusual must be happening around this area. Sure. You're a true expert, Madame Farwazan. You know what to do right away. But how do you know where exactly it is? Well, I do happen to have more experience than most. True, but that so aside, old. Has anyone completed this challenge yet? Not as far as we know. Nope, not yet. Well then, I suppose I'll be the first. What about that boy Tainari? He forfeited this round. Oh, and why's that? Feeling unwell. He's not used to being out and about in the desert. Huh, I didn't think he would have such a weakness. <laughs> I suppose he could use a bit more training. <laughs> what about the others? Is that Ratawahist girl still a bundle of nerves? Yeah. Tainari she always will be. Some advice, and she seems to be doing a lot better now. Sino a lot just better. started his search for the disruptors, and as for Hakai, well, who knows what he's thinking? Yeah. And what about Kabe? Has he found a leyline disruptor yet? Madame Farazan, we don't know. <laughs> Paimon doesn't think so, or our locators would have already let us know. Strange. What's he lollygagging for? With his skills. You should have heard something from him by and now. And beep beep. Well, I'm afraid the most thrilling moments are already done here. What? You should probably go find Kabe and see how he's faring now. But we're not even sure you found the thing. Mm-hmm. Here it comes. I think I'm about to strike gold. Whatever. Whatever. Sure. Sure. <laughs> what the, What is he doing? Are they all biting his pants now? I, I swear I got rid of some of them too. Come on, stop following me. I already gave you all the food I had on me. <laughs> oh. You can cry all you want. I don't have any more food. All I have left is a half bottle of water, and I can't possibly give you that. <laughs> Without water, traveling in the desert will be incredibly difficult, and I still need to find what I'm looking for. Stop talking to them, Covet. Marak, can you help me out here? Keep them away. Oh, wow, this thing has a name? Marak. Beep boop. It actually, you know what? I thought it was eyes, and I was like, nah, no way, right? And it, but it's actually smiling. Coffee, there you are. That's so cool. Farazan told us to come see how you're doing. What are you up to? Oh, I'm just playing with foxes. <sighs> just thinking about it makes me upset. Not long after I entered the desert, I was accosted by these fellows. Uh huh. I don't know why, but they didn't leave the competition grounds. And now the ley line disruptions have left them confused and oh. circling around the area. The moment they saw me, they wouldn't leave me alone. They even cheated me out of my limited food supply. Wow. <laughs> Look at them. Hey, didn't I ask you to keep them away? He didn't succeed. Does it go make a sad noise? Kabe, no. is this flying metal thingy yours? <laughs> <sighs> That's right. This is my toolbox, Mirac. It's so cool. You would be great friends with Bob Bob. What's it called again? Bomb Bomb Bot Bot. What was it? Jet's thing? Your toolbox? Yeah. Huh. It seems pretty fancy. <laughs> uh, hey there. Can you understand us? <laughs> Beep boop. Why 
why is it here with you? I mean, it's kind of useful, it seems. Sometimes I need to carry things when I go out, so it's handy to have a portable toolbox. Yeah. Well, this definitely doesn't look like an ordinary toolbox, that's for sure. All right, I don't know why you went all sudden there, but yeah, that's true. It's a long story. When I was working in the desert, I ran into a merchant group who had a machine core they excavated from some tomb. Okay. It was clearly from King Deshret's civilization. I see. His technology still isn't fully understood, and Kasharawar has many different opinions on this topic. Sure. Our current theories cannot explain such mysteries. Upon seeing such a rare, complete specimen before mm -hmm. me, I forked over all the mora on my person to purchase it. Fair enough. Some time back, I wanted to make an automated case that could store my offloaded items. With that core, I created Mirac. That's so cool. It can't understand commands that are too complex, but it can serve as my assistant and help me with things like mapping and surveying. That is actually really nice. Most importantly, it can't talk, so it can't give me any attitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, thanks for helping hide the fact that I live at Alhatham's place earlier. Hey, I wouldn't have given it away in the first place. That was Paimon, but no problem. <laughs> <sighs> I hope this season of my life ends soon, <laughs> so I can get things back on track. Right. Things just started going downhill at some point. Maybe it all started when my mom remarried and left for Fontaine. Wow. Or maybe it all started when I spoke to Alhatham in the library. Yeah. Or maybe it's because constructing the Palace of Alcazar's array burned through my funds. <laughs> I'm still paying off the debt from that one. Oh, when's this going to end? You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, we'll help. Now that I think about it, I guess we're all unlucky here. Are we? It's not like any of you asked to be trapped in a ley line disruption. Aw. Okay, let me get you all out. Cute. Tabe, aren't you going to look for the ley line disruptors? Isn't that what he's doing? Yes, but I can't just leave them here, can I? If you get rid of the disruption, they can be here. Oh, forget it. The more I think about this, the more I feel a headache coming on. I'll get back to searching once I get them out of here. But just... okay. Time's a-wasting. I'm off. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love the briefcase, man. Kave looks like he's conflicted. He really wants to win, but he can't ignore those he wants to help. He is a unique character. Could only be one or the other. Paimon's always felt like he's the type who easily gets himself into tough spots. Uh, he's shown that. Um, Paimon doesn't mean this in an insulting way, but he seems like the kind of guy who'd be really easy to take advantage of. Oh, what's that noise? You're silly cruel with the truth. Whoa, someone's done already! Oh, that was the bleep bloop. That was quick. I wonder who it is. What? Well, I'd assume it's Faruzan. Madam Faruzan. Let's go back and ask all hate them. All right. Cup is down here now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see what's he doing. What, what, what are you up to? Did you manage to get them away? Shh, quiet. I'm currently trying to find a way out of here. <laughs> Just let me take care of them. You go back. <laughs> Do you think? Okay, look. Clearly, Yelan can like spawn water, right? Do you think hydro characters in here would be allowed to refill their own water? Would you drink water from Yelan's boat? Real question. Let's see. Is it Madame Faruzan? So, did you find anything? Here it comes. I think I'm about to strike gold. That would mean it wouldn't be her if she thinks she's about to. I see no Sino and no Bob. What's up, Leyline? There's a few things that seem a little off about this place. Let me collect my thoughts for a second. Okay, sure. <laughs> you do that. I'll go back to our village. Hey, there you are. <sighs> I see. Oh. 20 years ago. That's the side quest I accidentally started. The intrigue is at its peak. Hey, Sino? Sino got the dub? That's nice. Verification complete. Nice. Congratulations on being this round's first winner, Sino. Let's go. Ooh, so Sino is the quickest. Big dub? I am from Spontamon, after all. Uh-huh. We know a lot about ley lines, so finding a disruptor was never going to be particularly difficult for me. Everyone claimed that, <laughs> and no one came back. Since the Traveler and Paimon also happen to be here, do you have anything you want to say? Oh, great. Anything I want to say? Hm. My friend couldn't continue on, <laughs> so failure was never an option. <laughs> His spirit lived on with me. The bonds of yesterday will forge the road to tomorrow. <laughs> With the ties of friendship Shut that up. bind us, I won't lose to anyone. <laughs> Shut up. 
That's a line from King of Invocations. Of course it would be. One of my favorite works. And it sums up my thoughts right now. <laughs> Tainari isn't here, or else he'd give Sino a good smack. But right it's about so Sino, though. Oh wow, it's already so late. Mm -hmm. Everyone's probably running low on food and water. Mm -hmm. It'll only get harder from here on out. Yes. Something similar happened in King of Invocations. <sighs> <sighs> what a classic! What an absolute classic! Haven't seen King of Invocation? Absolute normie. Any thoughts on that, Alhatham? I love King of Invocation. <sighs> Oh. I have no thoughts regarding King of Invocation. You should have had. <sighs> Nilo obviously wasn't asking about that. I like those sound effects we're getting when we're zooming in and out. Deserts are much more dangerous at night, so this competition should be nearing its end. Mm -hmm. At the moment, only Farazan, Layla, and Kave remain. Yes. I wonder who the next person to find a disruptor will be. Supposedly, it should be Madame Farazan. Wait, only three people are left? Mm -hmm. Tainari forfeited. And Sino's already done. Mm -hmm. What about half guy? He FF'd as well. He also forfeited not long See? ago. Told you. Paimon can't understand what he's thinking at all. He's investigating the clues about this hat more than anything. Like, like all Hatham said, this round's almost over. Let's go see what the other contestants are doing. Okay, we came back here. What is this order of things? Why? Sweating too much. No, you're fine. <laughs> Things are really heating up now. You can feel the contestants' passion too, can't you, Alhaith? No, I can't, in fact. Compared to the abstraction of human emotions, the desert heat is easier to intuit. Mm -hmm. Tainari made the right decision to force sure. it. Sure. <laughs> it's heating up. Oh, he took it literally. Ah, yes, the heat. I love, I love heat. Faru, are you serious? It's nighttime and you still haven't completed How everything? Weird. Nearby, yeah. but where? I don't know, dude. Like digging a hole somewhere? <laughs> Madame Faruzan. I am confusion. I don't know. Oh, hey there, Layla. Let me get these. What are you kneeling for? You found it? Uh, hello again. Hey. You know, it suddenly occurred to me that you guys have had to do a lot of <laughs> running around this time. Don't you find it tiring? Yeah, a little bit. Well, in that case, let's take a short breather here. Oh, lovely. The desert's getting colder now that night's falling, mm -hmm. and the wind can really sting your face because of all the sand in oh, it. Oh, I know. Actually, I have experience with that. It's awful. Uh, has anyone finished this round yet? Sino. Sino's already shut one down. Have you made any progress yet? I circled the whole area, but I didn't find anything. Hmm. But I did have the chance to think some more about that thing that was weighing on my mind. Okay. And I realized something. And what was that? Well, my fellow Ritawahist members must have all put my name forward for different reasons. Yeah. And maybe a lot of them only picked me because they wanted to watch me make a fool of myself. I considered saying that earlier, but I was like, no way it's that mean, right? But be that as it may, I believe that a lot of them genuinely do expect great things from me. Yeah. And I want to live up to their expectations. Uh, I don't want them to regret putting my name down. Sure. Huh? But doesn't thinking like that put a lot of pressure on you? Yeah, I think it would. Uh, of course, that comes with some amount of pressure for sure. But now I've thought about it, I don't feel like this is something I have to do. Mm -hmm. Instead, it's something I want to do. Good. That may not sound like a huge difference, a difference to you, but it's helped me relax a lot. Good. <sighs> so don't worry about me. I won't. Well, that's great! Mm -hmm. Also, now that I've relaxed, I'm suddenly really sleepy. Alright, good night. Uh, I think I'll just... Just Take forfeit, a quick bro. Nap. Just a quick one. <laughs> Just forfeit. <laughs> ah, she's stupid. Hmm? <sighs> but the competition isn't over yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Layla, Layla. She's really a bundle of nerves, isn't she? I don't know. Wait, you're. Sleepwalking Layla? Other Layla? Uh, good to see you too. What? Ooh, it's nice to be out. Feels like I've been cooped up inside for quite a while. Hello? You're way more lively and nicer, Layla. Well, 
since I'm here, I guess I should help her finish this. Uh. What are we supposed to be doing here again? <sighs> Finding a ley line disruptor, was it? Are you like the talented Layla that actually does all the work? Let me see. Hmm. Looks like she's basically gathered all the information she needs. Oh, I guess not. Uh, it won't take long to wrap this up. <laughs> I like this Layla so much more. Come with me, you two. Of course. As she runs away, bet. I knew it. I knew it. This is great. Wow. Do you ever get the feeling that the ley lines have a regular flow? Similar to the way that celestial bodies follow fixed orbits. Wait, give me a second to process if the fact we you speak fluent high, and quick now. I wonder whether we'd find that the ley lines are just the reflections of the stars upon the Earth. Not oh, all wow. astrological phenomena can be directly observed. <laughs> Some are deductions based on other details that we know. Uh huh. It's the same situation with the ley lines. You are still the parts very of talkative, them that are hidden though. underground can be identified via elemental energy, sound, and other phenomena. Uh huh. Can I? Hey. No, this would have been so interesting. Oh, all this sand, I'm running after you. It's making me. Plus, now that someone has checked the disruptors down, <laughs> I apologize. the contrast between before and after can so provide me with further know. information still. Uh huh. Uh, let me see. It should be here, I think. <laughs> This is kind of crazy, though, for real. Ah, this should be it, right? Wow. I'll turn it off. That should restore the ley lines in the area to normal. Nice. Nice work! Yeah, very nice. Again, I didn't do any of the real work. I'm just wrapping up. Okay, I believe it. She'll probably wake up soon. No doubt she'll be a little disoriented at first, but once she's got her bearings, she'll go and report that she shut down this disruptor. Okay, but can... Are you actually a different person? <sighs> Will you be staying here for a while? Or are you going to check on the other contestants? I'd like to stay with this Layla. Oh, time to check our locator. Whoa, it looks like Kaveh and Faro's on are headed towards the same place. Yeah, well, they have to. There's only one left. <laughs> Perhaps they're about to find the last disruptor. Yeah. Also, speaking of Kaveh, so freaking he's fast an also. interesting one. Uh huh. huh? Why do you say that? Oh. Before the second round, he had a chat with the other me. Yeah. He said that worries can be like illnesses. They don't always have a magic cure. Sure. Sometimes you just have to endure them as best you can until they run their course. That he did say that. Now, what's weird to me, this Layla is aware of other Layla, but other Layla is not aware of this Layla? But the way I see it, his situation is much worse than my other selves. Okay. She just hadn't found what she wanted to do at the moment, which is why she felt lost. Sure. Kaveh, meanwhile, knows what he wants to do. He's convinced that he has to win, and yet he still seems conflicted. <laughs> She's talking shit. He doesn't have a second personality, uh -huh. but somehow he still seems that he's at odds with himself in some way. Sure. Uh, I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's like he's smiling on the outside, but there's no joy inside, mm. only sorrow. Pain. Still, who knows? He must be more experienced than me. Right. Maybe he's just better at dealing with it all than I am. Maybe? Hmm. Uh, oh, but back to the topic of wrapping up. Uh-huh. Shouldn't you be getting back to the action to record how everything plays out? Look. Last one, then the round's over. You've been talking a lot. <laughs> I would have left. Oh, true. Okay, then. Guess we'll be going now. We'll keep everything you said in mind. Oh, okay. D I am... I... I... Hey, what in the world? I confident at the start, but it turns out they're the last ones to find the disruptor. Yeah, I, that's what I said too, two actually. What's one sign I said it. To get there first? Let's head over quick. Oh, we're gonna see two of them sprint towards the center point. Any waypoint around here? No. Why was Paimon not even a little bit in shock or anything? Am I am I crazy for like not realizing this? Or I haven't done her hangout, so I didn't know this about her. Maybe I should be doing hangouts, huh? I feel like they give maybe way more backstory. Cause that Layla is way more nice to be around and like so much more energetic and I don't know, talking to the other like Tired Layla is talking to that Layla is just as exhausting as that Layla is exhausted. Does that make sense? It is that sand pile? You know, I considered saying we will be the ones that find it. But I don't have anyone. Oh, we're it running. Should be around here. What do you think? Okay, sure. It is. I finally found it. <laughs> Kaveh? Are you? Uh oh. Oh, Madam Faruzan. And here I thought you would have finished this round by now. <laughs> Hey, hey, let us put down the camera real quick. Bleep, bleep. Oh, that's Layla. She's home. Oh, looks like Layla's already done. Yep. 
I didn't expect that you and I would find a disruptor at the same time. How are the other contestants doing? One and two are done. The rest are forfeited. Tainari and Hat Guy forfeited, while Sino and Layla are already done. Yeah. You two are the only ones left. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh? That's weird. Didn't you start digging really early on? <laughs> I'm sure she was, like, stuck in a horse. It would have been so funny. Yes. I kept digging, but instead of finding a disruptor, I found a ruin. Okay, she was all the way down. I fell down pretty deep, and yeah. it was completely dark in there. It took me quite some time to unlock the various mechanisms and return to the surface. <laughs> That's actually really impressive. Excavator. Finishing a week's worth of trials in such a short time. Huh. That's pretty amazing, Madame Farozan. <laughs> what about you? Why are you so late? Uh, I had to take care of puppies. <laughs> I encountered a lot of lost desert foxes along the way, and I brought them to the outskirts of the competition zone. Uh -huh. When I came back, I was absolutely parched. <laughs> And then I blacked out. <laughs> Probably from the heat, you know? And you went out the you went out the zone, right? So you lost as well. Oh, when the I woke up, it was already night. I used the last of my strength to come here. Uh-huh. The most curious reason indeed. Uh but are you sure you're all right? <laughs> it sounds like you were in an incredibly dangerous situation. <laughs> you said you were familiar with the desert. But the way you handle problems, it does feel rather at odds with your title as a genius. Everyone's flaming my boy. <laughs> it was problematic, but that had nothing to do with me being a genius. It was my decision. Let my boy be a dummy. The way I did things wasn't optimal, but -optimal. I wouldn't have been comfortable not doing it either. Yeah. My conscience would have weighed on me. Yeah, I respect that. <laughs> Youths these days, each stranger than the next. Uh, I'm kind of like that too. But back to the main issue at hand. Since we are both very certain that this is where the final leyline disruptor is, let's dig it up then. Is Faru gonna give it the cover, you think? Working together, the two unearth the final leyline well, disruptor. This is indeed it. Of that there is no doubt. But how shall we count the score this time? I don't know. <sighs> I can't be a judge. What is it, youngster? You seem relieved. Yeah. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that this round's finally over. <laughs> There shouldn't be any more innocent creatures getting wrapped up in danger. Wow. As for the points, I guess we can draw lots again later. I can't think of anything better. Well, if luck is anything to go by, suppose you're you're, you're gonna lose this again. All right. In that case, let's all head back to Aru Village. Mm -hmm. Paimon thinks you'll both need some water and rest. I feel like cooperation shouldn't be allowed as well, but who am I? You think Bob's still here? He's not. Bob is gone. Hey, everybody. Looks like the second round is over. Yep. I wonder who is faster, Kabe or Madame Farazan? Both. Huh? Where's Madame Farazan? I don't know. She went to get water. She'll be back shortly. We basically arrived at the same time, so we'd like to draw lots again. <laughs> <sighs> you get caught up in something so easily, like drawing lots. <laughs> I'm not caught up in anything. Don't make it sound like I take pleasure in having bad luck. Right. Really? Then should I say that you have a curious affinity for drawing <laughs> lots? Um, I'll go get the box and slips of paper for the lots. Nice. Please, wait a moment. Sure. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> Let's see how I fare. She's so joyful though, I like that. Oh-ho! After a brief but tense lot drawing, Covet I emerges triumphant. Did you see that? Oh. I won! Wow! Applause! Applause! Congratulations! <laughs> Looks like Kaveh's luck's taking a turn for the better! Faru griefed it intentionally. <gasps> Finally! After all this time! <laughs> <laughs> Me when I win a 50-50 again after five lost ones. It looks like you've been rewarded for your tribulations in the desert. Uh-huh. This round's points are yours. Cute. <laughs> oh? And with that, our second round is done. Sino, Layla, and Kabe are our victorious contestants. All right. As for the current standings, let me see. Well, in first Sino will be Sino. and Layla both have four points, putting oh, them Layla both in first well, place. True. The rest in descending order are Tainari, Farazan, Kabe, and Hakai. <laughs> the next round will be the final one. Ooh. Please rest up before then, everyone. All right. I heard that some stalls at the Wisdom Gala are debuting new games. Really? So feel free to drop by if you're interested. Mini games. Otherwise, see you next round. All right. Take care. I'm excited for the mini games. I kind of want to do them too, actually. Oh, that's it. Instantly. Go play at the Academia booth. Is that a... No, I actually have to. There are some matters that haven't been resolved. So I assume this is still part of today's arc. Actually, usually, it, yeah, it is like this. Because I'll get the full pop-up. That will let me know that it's done. All right, here we are. Take it easy. Back at Sumero City. Oh. It feels like something's 
been on your mind this entire time. There's been this weirdo, <laughs> this illusion. Secret conversation we overheard. I mean, it's, the white-haired man definitely weirder. Traveler, Paimon. Hey! I finally found you. Candace, I love it here. Finally? Did something happen? Well, clearly she's been looking for us. Don't you feel like there's something off about this year's academia extravaganza? Yes. When Candace and I were at the cafe earlier, we might have caught sight of some mercs on business. All right. Thing is, they were disguised as tourists here to shop. Right. But no disguise can mask the stench of blood. Right. Just from their suspicious looks, <laughs> I bet they do dirty work like kidnapping or assassinations. Oh, no. We eavesdropped on them for a while. Their target seems Wait. to be someone called Sachin. They actually want to kill them. What? Sachin? Isn't that the person who Karina mentioned during the opening ceremony? Yeah, the guy that originally got the hat, right? He's apparently the sponsor behind the competition prizes yeah. oh. and the diadem of knowledge. It is diadem, but okay. He hasn't shown himself at all. Maybe he knows he's a target. <sighs> Sounds like a rich person, all right. <laughs> yeah. It makes sense now. Do you think that's everything? Just the fact he's rich? The Aramites have been struggling to make ends meet recently. Uh huh. So a lot of groups have been doing private work that involves the rich. Sure. In their words, one gig sets you up for half a year. Not bad. <laughs> Just one job like this nets them enough mora to take it easy for a while. Yeah. The extravaganza has brought many tourists to Sumeru City all at once. Yeah. So it's likely that they took advantage of the bustle to sneak in. Sure. Dia and I wanted to directly capture them, but they were on guard and made some excuse to slip away. Damn. I would have tied him up if it wouldn't have caused a scene. <laughs> Who's legally supposed to take care of this kind of thing? I don't know. Matra? Maybe. Or the core of 30? Probably the Matra, but he's busy doing this tournament. Mm. Or the Mahamatra, I should say. definitely get involved, why don't we head over to the Academia and tell a Matra? Sure. Thanks a million, you two. Thanks. Not at all. It was coincidence on our part as well. Oh, I love Candace so much. Yeah, don't sweat it. The Aramite's reputation is going to get even worse if these scumbags succeed. True. Hmm, but this is Sumeru City. Candace and I don't have as much freedom to act here. Yeah. So we're leaving this in your hands. I understand. Should you require our aid, come find us at the cafe. Yeah, deal. I want to go to the cafe anyway. <laughs> I'm going there right now. I'm not even doing anything else. Hyman's noticed that something's bucking you. Yes. Is it the extravaganza? I just because told you. Hyman's starting to think that there's more than meets the eye here too. has there ever been something that went smoothly i guess that event in monstat i have that recorded too i could make a video on that still Ugh. wait thinking like this isn't doing anything uh-huh hmm. let's just go find a matra sure but first to the cafe <laughs> cafe moment i assume they mean puspa cafe right which would be right here i think the uh candace <laughs> yes oh, i'm not leaving here anymore <laughs> I'm sitting here for- this is my table. This is my table of destiny. I look so- <laughs> Me when I get to sit next to Candace. That's so funny. That's actually so funny. <laughs> uh, hey guys. I'm surprised anyone has the guts to try to pull off something like this during the extravaganza. Yeah. Just goes to show how tempting a fortune like Sachin's is. Sure. What would you do if a sum of mora like that suddenly landed in Ooh, your lap? I do want to hear this. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. I've never thought about it. Really? Come on. First thing off the top of your head. Yeah. How would you spend it? New clothes. Hmm. <laughs> Buying food, finding water sources, that kind of thing, I guess? <laughs> She's way too sweet. Damn it. All right, I'm glad I saw them. <laughs> I'm happy. All right. In we go. Hey! Wow. Investigated Siraj with a Rav, no way, shield of a Rav. Hello, both. Hello, it's been a while. Do you have any issues to report? Kinda. You tell Rav about the situation with Dia and Candace. Someone's planning to kidnap Sachin. Yes, goodness. Well, I suppose it's not all that surprising. Exactly. The growing popularity of the extravaganza has given him quite the reputation boost as its sponsor. Yeah, of course. He's seen as one of these super rich types. Well, I think he's not just seen, he is no, well, he is super he's rich. Got a Shouldn't you send some people to protect him? Bodyguards. To tell you the truth, we've thought about doing just that. Yeah. However, Sachin apparently prefers to spend most of his time out doing field work. Okay. And hardly ever comes back to Sumeru City. No one has been able to contact him. He just hides well. Our only lead is something he once said. Okay. <clears throat> Each time the Inter-Darshan Championship is held, 
I will be watching from close by to choose a suitable person to inherit my estate. Wow. Assuming he remains committed to that promise, yeah. then he must be right here in the city somewhere. Mm -hmm. I suspect that the Aramites in question must have heard about that as well, and decided to come here and try their luck. Master of Disguise. I bet he's closer than we think. So, they shouldn't know where Sachin is either, right? Yeah. I would assume not. Anyway, Mahamat Vasayano <laughs> is still on vacation, so I'll handle this. Alright, nice. Don't you worry. A couple of kidnappers aren't gonna get very far in Sumeru City these days. I believe it. I have my ways of forcing them out into the open. Okay. All of that said, if you're interested in Sachin's story, why don't you try tracking him down as well? Sure. The sooner we ascertain his whereabouts, the quicker we can act to ensure his safety. Yeah. I mean, you could task all the Matra and the whole core of 30 with someone's protection, mm -hmm. but if the client doesn't show themselves, there's nothing we can do to help them. Fair enough. Fair point. <laughs> Guess we should start searching for him too, yeah. but where should we start? Do the Matra have any information at all on Sachin? None, I'm afraid. Nothing? He's never committed any crimes or broken academic protocol, so we don't have a very detailed file on him. He's a good guy, so we know nothing. I've heard that Alhatham has now stepped down from his post as acting Grand Sage and yeah. is back to being the scribe again. Uh-huh. Maybe it's worth checking to see if he knows anything. Uh, sure. Good idea! Okay, we'll head back to the extravaganza venue and see if we can find him. This is a, a whole lot of traveling. <laughs> anything else? Rest assured that I will bring these criminals to justice. I believe you. I actually have faith in this guy. He's confident in everything. Oh, neat. It's not in the desert. It's right here. Nilu. Hey, Nilu. And he doesn't. Oh, oh they'll hate them. Hey, Nilu, have you seen I'll hate them anywhere? I'll hate them? Why? What is it? We need him. We're trying to track down someone and we need him to pull up some records for us. Oh, I see. Sorry, I don't know where he went. Probably to bed. It's like midnight. He's always the first to leave after the competition ends. Yeah. And he never tells anyone where he'll be going. He's the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, that sounds about right for him. Yeah. Hmm. Let me think. To be honest, he doesn't seem very interested in the extravaganza, so he probably doesn't stick around longer than he has to. Yeah, to him, I know. Being a commentator is just extra work he was roped into. Yeah. Do you guys know of any places he'd go after work? I mean, I, 100% home. Like, <laughs> home. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> Paima remembers that his house isn't that far oh. from here, so we might as well check it out. I remember saying during that one quest, why would you be able to go in if you can never go back out? Or never go back, but we can actually go back again, I think, perhaps. I wonder where all Haytham would go. Home? Definitely not the tavern. I do. I refuse to believe the tavern. Although he does play cards sometimes, I remember. What if he's protecting the rich dude? What if he's having a fight with Kaveh as usual? I love this house placement. This house must be expensive as F, by the way. Knock, knock. Let's try knocking! Yep. I don't think he'd let us in either. Knock. I think it's just gonna be closed. We're gonna talk to someone in front of the door. You answer? Open up! Hello! <laughs> Listen, I'll hate them. We haven't done this ever. You're the first person we're doing this for. Oh, it's you two? Hey, Kave! Oh, Kave, you're home! Come on in. I'll get the door for you. Thank you. I love this guy. Oh my god, I should do a comp with Kave and Candace. We didn't hear a peep when we first knocked. We thought no one was home. Yeah. Well, I can't be too careful. If someone from the academia came here <laughs> looking for Alhatham, <laughs> and I opened the door for them without thinking, before long the whole city would know that I'm living here. Because the whole city is interested in where Kave lives, truly. You're pretty conscientious about this, huh? Yes. So, what happens if someone comes inside looking for him while you're at home? I'll be uh, acting like a thief. <laughs> it's fine, as long as I stay in my own room. Anyway, why would someone just barge in here looking for him? Most people have better things to do. Yeah, fair. What do you think? Who knows what he does in his free time? All that matters to me is that he's out of the house. <laughs> you have a quarrel or something? I wouldn't call it that. He's just incapable of saying anything pleasant at all. That, I, that's true. I told him how the second round went. I won the lot draw, remember? Yeah. Because of good karma, of course. Sure. My luck's on the rise. I hope so for you. But him, being him... You wouldn't believe what he said after I was done talking! Uh, you are just lucky. You're always quick to remind me that you're my upperclassman, <laughs> and yet you do not problem solve in the manner becoming of an upperclassman. Oh my this God. begs the question of why we attach prestige to seniority at all. <laughs> what does he mean, manner becoming of an upperclassman? 
What, am I supposed to earn the title of upperclassman now? Apparently. And he didn't stop there. He said, I'd encourage you to reflect on why you've ended up having to rely on luck every round. See, there you Frankly, go. Frankly, it's incomprehensible to me how you've managed to make it to this age without acknowledging the proverbial elephant in the room of your life. Wow. Elephant again, huh? I've been playing Breath of the Wild and I'm currently at the elephant. <laughs> yeah, that does sound like something all Hatham would say. Uh-huh. I've had it with him. Every time I talk to him, it's the same way. Mm -hmm. He finds a way to infuriate me every single time. <laughs> you guys aren't very compatible. <sighs> anyway, the disdain is very much mutual between us, mm -hmm. so I'll be moving out as soon as possible. Of course. I'm actually packing my things right now. Wow. He'll have to get used to doing his own cleaning and tidying from now on. Champion. See those perfectly hung paintings on the walls? Mm -hmm. They're coming with me too. Ooh. <laughs> If his life wasn't utterly devoid of artistic sensibility already, it certainly will be after today. Wait, you're moving out already? But the competition isn't even over yet. How can you afford it? Don't tell me you sold the briefcase. Well, obviously I can't just yet. I'm just pecking early to get ahead of the game. Uh, I've got my new place picked out already. Okay. The moment I have my hands on the prize money, I'm going to buy it and move my things right in. Sure. It'll take me three days tops to move out of here for good. Okay. I now know what I have to do to achieve this goal. So be motivated as ever. No matter what ever. happens in the third round, I will win. Mm -hmm. I will emerge triumphant. You'll see. Imagine he gives like three points and he can't win anymore. <laughs> well, we'll be rooting for you. But are you sure you'll be alright? You got this right. Hmm? In what way? You're worried. You're stressed. Layla said that she thinks you'll get caught up in internal conflict. Mm -hmm. Meaning what exactly? Oh, don't tell me you think I have serious personality flaws too. <laughs> no. Oh, we didn't say that. But think about it. <laughs> you say you want to win, but you also turned Faro's on down when she offered to give you her points. Plus, you took it upon yourself to help those desert foxes. I don't, I don't think that's that bad. I don't know, but I'm also like this, so maybe I'm also just crazy. Wait, what's so unusual about all that? I don't know either. I gave you my reasons. I would have felt guilty otherwise. Where's the conflict in that? I don't know. Why would you feel guilty? Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's a good point. Well, when you put it like that, yes, why indeed? It's a good question. Shit. I guess it's just in my nature. Plus, if I just did nothing, then there'd be no escaping the blame if something bad came of it later down the line. <laughs> why, do, why am I being conflicted with myself now? But thinking like that all the time must make your life so so exhausting. A little bit. Not to mention that by helping out, you put yourself. <laughs> I hate this. Painting in the middle of the desert, for example, was that really worth it? Okay, look, I'm not that crazy. I wouldn't do that. It's complicated. I look. Let's maybe leave this conversation for another time. <laughs> what was it you needed all Hatham's help with, anyway? Uh, we'd like him to help us look into Sachin. Sachin. Yeah. Huh. He did actually mention a Sachin recently. Okay. I remember he brought a few documents home that day. Sure. He was thinking out loud as he looked through them, making some notes and doodling as he went. Okay. He even suggested that I should take a look, but I didn't. Uh, give me a moment. Let me go find them. Really? Well, that's sweet. Thank you. In the middle of this pile of books, he brought them with him. Bet they're not here. Oh. Maybe they are. Let's see it then. <laughs> ah, this is the one. Here, take it. Thank you. Little paper noise? Uh, no? You sure he'd be okay with that? Probably not, but who cares? Huh, with taking liberties? He's certainly okay with helping himself to my beer whenever he pleases. <laughs> and anyway, he did ask me if I wanted to read his notes. True. I didn't see the point at the time, so he just left them on the side. Yeah, fair. He doesn't leave documents lying around unless he's okay with other people reading them. I believe that. It's fine, I promise. Okay. Cool, if you say so. Okay, let's see what he's got on the Paper noise this time. No? Wow. Investigate the documents on the table. I fetched the documents for you. Uh -huh. Feel free to look through them at your leisure. I hope this house stays open. It's so cool to be able to come in here. Can you sit? No? Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> I fetched the document. Do that. Wait, can I read your mind? Did he leave these notes there on purpose? Maybe. Or was this sheer coincidence? Maybe. But if it wasn't a coincidence, then... Then, investigate. There's the paper noise. All right, tabletop documents. Sachin was born to a wealthy family, and his father Rajput was a renowned merchant in Sumeru, with many properties to his name. At the age of nine, Sachin enrolled into Vahmana and achieved excellent grades. 
At the age of 15, he completed all of his courses and graduated first in class, his accomplishments greatly lauded by the sages. At the age of 16, Sachin ventured out and began research of the local environment and customs. His travels took him throughout Sumer's rainforests and deserts. When Sachin was 23 years old, his father Rajput passed away. Sachin returned to Sumer's city to take over his father's business and spent two years here. At the age of 25, Sachin once again ventured to the desert to conduct field research. Records show that he traveled with a caravan and lived in Aru village for a period of time. At age 32, Sachin returned to Sumeri city. He looked withered and weary, his mental state in shambles. Much speculation arose amongst the outsiders, but Sachin locked himself in his room and did not respond. At the age of 33, Sachin entrusted all his properties to the academia and pledged to donate all the proceeds to the academia. He then wrote a contract regarding the use of the proceeds and property ownership. The following is an excerpt quoted from Sachin when the contract was signed. A minimum of 30% of all revenue generated from the business will be used to fund prizes for the Inter-Darshan Championship, which will encourage young prodigies to actively participate in the competition. I will also be donating my entire collection, the most prominent of item of which, the Diadem of Knowledge, will serve as a symbol of great honor in the Inter-Darshan Championship. Only the winner of the competition may wear it. In addition, the Academia is only given the right to maintain and manage my properties. Ownership of them does not belong to the academia, nor does it belong to me, really. Each year, when the Inter-Darshan Championship is held, I will keep a close eye on each candidate. If I particularly identify with a participant, I will reveal myself. Oh, wow, okay. I will then bequeath <laughs> bequeath all of my wealth to this individual to whom I judge worthy to, of, my, of my acknowledgement. They will have the usage rights to all assets and proceeds under my name. I hope that the academia will respect any and all decisions made by that person. After the contract came into effect, Sachin returned to the desert to continue his investigations, but there has been no word from him since then. Many claimed to have seen him in the desert, but none of such claims have been verified. 20 years have passed since then. 20 years ago. So there's our 20 years. That was a lot of information. My mind's getting ahead. Yeah, well, you didn't have to read it out loud. So, uh, to sum up, Sachin put the academia in charge of managing his estate mm -hmm. and went off to do research, right? Basically. He even said that if he really liked one of the contestants, yeah. he wouldn't just give them a reward, but his entire estate as well. <laughs> yep. Oh, that must be worth heaps and heaps of more. Well, we're not a contestant, so get your mind off it. What? Are you serious? <laughs> that would have motivated him, huh? All of Sachin's wealth, that's more than I could spend in a lifetime, Maybe surely. Maybe it's just Heck, if knowledge. I got chosen, I'd be able to pay off all my debts, <laughs> then buy a new place and still have cash to burn. <laughs> I could build another palace of Alcazar's array. Uh huh. Except this time, I'd make it ten times bigger. <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, then there's that new project in Port Ormos, oh of my course. God. The bridge renovation. To do it properly would take upwards of. Why are you doing the project and paying for them? Hey, hey, snap out of it! You're getting way ahead of yourself there, mister! I thought he would be getting paid to do these things. Uh, uh, you're right. First, I need to focus on winning and moving out of this there place. You go. Wait a moment. Oh. There's a loose slip of paper tucked in between these pages. Well. Did I hate them right there? I don't know. It looks like he was jotting ideas down as he was thinking things over. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Um, two phrases have been circled. Yeah. Sachin, dead or alive, unknown, and diadem of knowledge. Uh huh. Some of this stuff is just plain incomprehensible. Is this written in some other language? It's just notes. Let me see. Huh. I recognize this script. Okay. Hmm. Give me a second. Sure. <clears throat> Lofty ideals may provide no defense at all against nihilism, but perhaps little decisions can. Okay. That's a rough translation, anyway. I can't guarantee it's 100% accurate. Sure. Hmm? There's another smaller line of text underneath. Uh, mm. Huh. Why would he bring that? I don't know. Uh -huh. We worked together on a project once when we were students. The title was Decoding the Runes and Architectural Philosophy of the Ruins of King Deshrit's Civilization. Right. I had to familiarize myself a little with this script at the time. Sure. Oh, interesting. So, any <laughs> idea what Alhatham meant by all this? No. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> the way his mind works is one of the great mysteries of the world. Right. Here. Yeah, let's hope Rob's made some progress. Yeah, he better catch those crooks. Yep. But until then, uh, let's just head out for 
first stroll. Okay, I feel like we're gonna meet someone during this stroll. Oh, never mind. That's the end of this part. Spicy. Okay, and then tomorrow, I'll record the last bit. Hey, dude. Mm, little decisions. Yeah. What could have been going through his mind when he wrote that? Uh, the little things in life. Split second decision. Instinct. Instinct. I wonder if I can go back in now. Nope. <laughs> it's closed forever again. Alright, see you tomorrow with the last part. Hope you're enjoying it. This is pretty cool. Hey everybody, here we go. Last day of the event, I believe anyway. Learn about the situation from Arav. So there was a tiny Paimon voice acted line that said that the, the guards have caught a group of Eremites. So maybe the Matra, that's what they're called. Ah, uh, you're here. We got some good news. Sorry, I was just about to send someone to inform you. It's all right. I only just finished interrogating the suspects. Were they the ones? Why did you find out? Yeah. Well. Lots of unexpected details, let's put it that way. All right. The mercs themselves were surprisingly easy to catch. Mm -hmm. We just had someone dress up as Sachin and they took the bait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then it starts to get messy. Uh-huh. During the interrogation, we learned that they were hired by Sachin's own child. Really? What? Why would someone want to kidnap their own father? What's up with that? <laughs> they want the money. <laughs> they want the money and he's going to give it all away to the academia. It's anybody's guess at this point. That was easy guess. In any event, apparently the guys we caught are just the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. Most of them are still snooping around outside the city. Well, that's not great news. We're diverting manpower as we speak to try and round them all up. Yeah. Would you like to come along? Yeah, sure. Sure! Let's go get to the bottom of all this! Okay! Spicy! Arc 3! A parade of Providence Act 3 gatherings and partings started. Sachin's art school. Go to the academia and look for Vikas. So he's right here. Hey Vikas, how's it going bro? That incident from 20 years ago? Oh wait, this is a different one. This back to that Dori quest again. I kept doing it before recording more. So I'll just finish this real quick so it doesn't bother us anymore. Wait, died in quicksand? Hmm. Didn't Kave's dad die in quicksand? Wasn't that a whole thing? Here, bada bing, bada boom, 84, wondrous crystal, radiant spin crystal, the hymn of earth and bound soaring. Um, okay, well, I don't know. I didn't read all of it, honestly. I kind of glossed over it, but it said something about dying in quicksand, and I'm pretty sure that's what happened to Covey's dad. I don't know if that's what we're going to, but uh, maybe. You know what? It's been a little while. Two birds. God. Wow. Finally, they're making use of this area. Wow. Holy moly. Wait, all the Aramites are dead. Are you sure this is the right place? Something feels off. Something feels off, you say? I'm positive. Trail of corpses. I don't understand why they're all unconscious on the ground. Oh, they're just unconscious. Okay, they're not dead. Well, that's a relief, I guess. Boss, we got more Boss. company. What's up, Levi? How's it going? Are you a doctor, perchance? Look, we were just doing what we were paid to do. Uh huh. You're punishing the wrong people here. You want the real culprit? Hmm? It's this guy. He hired us to kidnap Sachin. Sachin's son. <clears throat> How dare you? It's me, uh, Bachin. What happened? <laughs> Wait, you mean you aren't with them? No. With who? Who did this? <laughs> First there was this flying brat. Didn't bother asking any questions, just started guy? throwing punches. After that, some guy wearing green came along and interrogated us for a bit. Oh, hate them? I think? Maybe? I've got the confirmation I needed. This is the one who masterminded this whole plot. Giovanni. Giovanni. Sachin's son. Of course. If you have any questions for him, now's your chance to ask them. All right. When you're done, I'm arresting them all and taking them back to the academia <laughs> for further interrogation. Okay, Arav, I understand. This sounds Why great. Why did you hire people to kidnap Sachin? <laughs> what do you think? 20 years ago, he upped and left to go and live a carefree life. Yeah. Not giving a second thought for my welfare. Yeah. As if that's not bad enough already. He wouldn't put his entire fortune in the care of the academia. Told you. Along with a contract saying that one day he'd pass it all on to a genius he admired. Yeah. That's my inheritance. By rights. <laughs> you expect me to sit back and watch it go to someone else? Yes. If he won't give me what's mine, I'll just have to take it from him. Were you seriously planning to rob your dad? <laughs> of course. Didn't he say he would be here somewhere, watching the championship from the shadows? Yeah. So, I figured I'd get some people to nab him. Then I make him change the contract. And if the academia doesn't agree to hand over the goods, I make him publicly announce that I'm his chosen genius. So did you find him? This guy's an idiot. No. The old fart knows how to stay hidden. Yeah. I'll give him that. He's probably old cooped fart. up somewhere watching all this go on and laughing to himself. Yeah, I'd imagine so. <clears throat> I already thought he'd gone mad 20 years ago. 
And who knows what a madman's truly capable of? You seem more mad, to be honest. What do you know about the diadem of knowledge? Diadem of knowledge? Yeah. You mean that thing he donated to the academia? Uh huh. Well, I can tell you that it's very expensive. Uh huh. He sold a lot of assets to purchase it back in the day. I believe it. <laughs> Weird things started happening after he brought it home, too. Mm -hmm. For example, sometimes we'd hear a high pitched voice coming from the storage room. Ooh, scary. Also, before donating it to the academia, yeah. he once shut himself in that same storeroom and researched it non-stop for days. That's not that weird. Something was already seriously wrong with him by that point. Uh-huh. Nothing he did shocked me. He's possessed. What do you mean something wrong with him? <laughs> I only have a vague memory of it. Okay. Since I was very young at the time. But I have the impression that he went out into the desert for research and didn't return for many years. Wow. When he finally did return, he was a changed person. He would mumble incomprehensibly and write essays day and night. Okay. I asked if I could see what he'd written, but he chased me out of the room. <laughs> Later, he went out somewhere and took his written essays with him. When he got back, he signed his contract with the academia. Interesting. Part of me wonders whether he'd already stopped being my father by that point. Perhaps the man we called Sachin was a demon from the desert who was wearing his skin. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, okay. I get that. I get that. That's but I, if he said this as like a reason to stop his dad, I'd get it. But he was like, I just need the money, dude. You can believe me or not. Doesn't matter to me. I told you all I know. But if you do see Sachin, tell him this for me. You're not my dad. <laughs> Whatever it is that he's researching out there, he'll always be garbage in my eyes. Wow. You finished? In that case, come with us. Nice. Well, we finally caught the guy behind all this. Thanks for providing us with the critical information. Yeah, no worries. Do you still have any lingering concerns? This diadem of knowledge. Yeah! Alhatham's notes do mention that item. Ah, yeah, I read those. I remember that. Scribe Alhatham looked into this matter. Of course. Hmm. Understood. Well, if you believe there to be an issue with the diadem, I'd suggest contacting the organizers and getting them to pause the competitions while we investigate. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay, then. Let's get back to the venue. We need to tell Karina what's going on. Wow, really? We're just stopping this whole cool arc. It's done. It's doomed. Kind of a shame. The competition was fun. Hello. Karina! Karina, we got some, some eh news. <sighs> You're finally back. Yeah. Where have you been? I looked everywhere for you. I'm sorry. The third round's already started. Listen, we need to cancel it. <laughs> we were out capturing some bad guys who wanted to kidnap the team. <laughs> important right now we think there might be something wrong with the diadem of knowledge and we'd like to investigate it. yes trust us the diadem mm -hmm. that seems unlikely what do you mean the diadem of knowledge has been used in every extravaganza over the last two decades uh -huh. always without incident mm. why is this come up now new information hmm this is pretty serious <laughs> let me think based on all we said or the little we said it's serious okay okay here's the situation the diadem is currently in mount Ima forest we moved it there before the third round began. What? That's how you pronounce it? Mati Ima? I've butchered that the entire time, and I, I hear it as Mati... Mati... I forgot. Mati Ima? In the third round, contestants have to go into Mount Ima Forest, find the diadem, Mati Ima. bring it back, and place it on the stand. The first person to do this gets four points. How did the other points get distributed? Considering how close the scores are between our contestants, whoever wins this round is very likely to be the winner of the whole competition. Shocker. Totally didn't predict that either. As such, I suspect competition to be very fierce. Yeah. You might not make it in time. Well, gotta give it a shot. I'll mark the diadem's location for you. <laughs> Please head there immediately. Broken. Let's hope nothing happens. Oh, no. All right, let's go. Oh, no, Bob wants it. Bob just wanted the diadem. That's weird. The locator stopped working. Oh. Is the forest interfering with it? I don't know. Ugh. Let's just go grab the diadem. Sure. Do you have anything to think? No, you're not thinking? Why this year? <laughs> Is it your first time organizing and you're getting scammed? That sucks. Here are these guys again. They always seem to be here when we're partying. We bop them? The diadem, let's see. Does this animal slime have it? Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. This place looks empty. Hmm. <laughs> Did someone already take it? Uh, well, maybe. We might as well head back and see if anyone's turned it in. All right, sure. Isn't this where the abyss mage is? Okay, take it's fine. Take it easy. How funny, I came from the back. Nilu isn't thinking? Creepy. I'll hate them. Also isn't thinking. Well. <laughs> well then. Oh! oh! Looks like Layla sees the diadem. Oh! 
How cool. But getting to the goal won't be easy. <laughs> oh, really? Yo, we're fighting, are we? Bob? Bob moment. That guy enters the fray. <laughs> this is... This is so cool. Oh. I'd be mad too. That was so cool. Oh! Oh, he dodged everything. Yo, that's so cool as well. Sino. Oh, I want to see a Sino Bob fight. Amazon's device has gone haywire. <laughs> the competition is heating up. <laughs> oh. And here's Kabe bringing up the rear. You actually, he was gonna win. Kabe wins these. Kabe wins these. <laughs> Careful! Oh. oh. <laughs> this might be like my favorite cutscene. It's just so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Yoink. Nope. <laughs> the music too. Yup. 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 And he wins. Let's go! <laughs> Cover my champion! Hey! What is happening to it? Oh no. Yes. yes. That's right. Put the diadem in place. <laughs> and you shall gain all you desire. What a weirdo. I think he might not do it because Who are of that. You? I need you to get out of my head! I am confident huh? that you will not disappoint me. Wow. Can he do it? What just happened to me? Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Yeah, I know. We're running. We run in. Save him. Oh, no. Uh-oh. The man. Hello, it is me, old man guy. <laughs> oh my god, it's old man guy. At long last, bro, someone to inherit my estate. Nah. And with it, my research. Why does he sound like he's through an old like radio? Ah oh, yes, finally, I was stored in this VHS tape. <laughs> come, Kabe, come to me, my child. No. How do you know my name? Who are you? Uh-oh. I am Sachin. Well, to be precise, I am but a fragment of Sachin's mind. Okay. Fate is a curious thing. Seeing you reminds me of another I once met. Mm hmm But you are made of sterner stuff than he. More cognizant of the trials and tribulations of this world. Right. It is you who are worthy to inherit all that I once owned. Wow. So I did a little Dori quest that I accidentally started yesterday when it's starting to record. And I'm wondering if I had a guess, I only read a small line about someone in Drift Sand. I think that was Kave's dad. I think he talked about it. We meet for the first time, children. But what I mean to say now is of utmost importance. Okay. So please, pay attention and bear witness. Interesting. You have all performed outstandingly in this interdash. Uh, when did we get here? The Academia has many rare talents among its ranks. Can everyone see him here? And you are the creme of the creme. Ah, la creme de la creme. Mais c'est magnifique. But if I were to choose a successor, I would choose you, Kaveh. Uh-huh. Not only because you were victorious, but also due to our similarities in character. Interesting. Uh, me? Similar to you? Old? Unfashionable? <laughs> Why, yes. Both of us have the misfortune to be idealists, and that is the source of our misery. <laughs> Twenty-eight years ago, I came to the desert and lived there for eight full years. Mm -hmm. What do you think I saw there? Alas, endless strife and slaughter. Yeah. Conflict over water sources, robbing of merchant caravans, exploitation of the people relentlessly, day after day. Yeah. Beyond the wall of Samiel lay a completely different world from the one I knew. Mm -hmm. The things I witnessed there tormented me greatly. 
I wish desperately to find a way to save them. Right. So, did you find a way? I don't think so. As a Vahumana scholar, I tried to use Vahumana knowledge to find the answer. Yeah. I researched history and anthropology, performed countless experiments on human nature, and even sought out the scholars living deep in the desert who called themselves the Lost Darshan. The Lost Darshan. But in the end, I found that the answer I sought simply did not exist. Yeah. It was not possible to simply assign blame for these transgressions to any one party. Mm -hmm. For the sins are carved into humanity's very nature. Our nature begets conflict, and conflict begets destruction. Yeah. This is the inexorable truth. The aim of my research was to draw lessons from history. Sure. But what I discovered was that history offers no such guidance. Things can only ever go from bad to worse. Nah, that's not true. After this realization, I could no longer see the meaning in anything that I had ever learned. Consumed by an overwhelming sense of emptiness. Yeah. I could no longer bear to face life. Wow. And so, I decided to bring my life to an end. Well, kinda. You put your soul in a crown, dude. But before I went through with it, a strange twist of fate led me to come into the possession of this diadem. Uh-huh. Which has the ability to preserve part of one's consciousness. I see. Into it. I placed my experiences before requesting that the academia manage my estate. So you're essentially dead, but your spirit is just there. As I thought, the contract you signed with the academia was in essence your will. Uh-huh. But if you'd given up hope on this world, exactly. why would you feel the need to do this? Exactly. I mentioned that I have performed a great many experiments concerning human nature. Okay. You may regard this as the very last experiment of them all. To find out what? The academia has no shortage of genius talents. <laughs> nurturing the brightest minds of every generation. Mm -hmm. And so, with a handsome reward to draw out the worthiest of individuals, yeah. my hope was that one day, I would find one who could untangle the mystery of human nature once and for all. Really? And help to move the world onto a better path. And that person is Kaveh. I see. So you desired a successor who was not only a genius, this but is who so also important. understood the suffering of ordinary That's people. That's so important. Such a person would have a clearer understanding of humanity, society, and the world. This has to be a critic of modern politics, where people that have no idea what kind of life normal people live make decisions for us. You know what I mean? Huh? <laughs> he is a normie. I love it. But did you ever <laughs> consider that wealth numbs the human heart to the pain in the world? This is true. Even an idealist may be incapable of following through on your wishes after inheriting your wealth. I've said this before, not to be all political and everything. I think politicians shouldn't be like a job. You shouldn't get paid for it. If you do it, it's to make the world a better place, not to fill your pockets. That's what I would hope anyway. You are highly intelligent, yet you are not the sort of person who would understand my line of thinking. Yeah. To me, this is also part of this the makes sense. Part of my investigation into human nature. It's very interesting. To be fair, I mean, Covet did say he'd spend the money on building even better or bigger things, but it doesn't mean he wouldn't try and make the world a better place. Whether my successor suffers as a consequence of my research, yeah, or succumbs to an indulgence in pleasure seeking, sure, my research will have progressed. Fair. I grieve the fundamental sickness of the world. I regret the unbearable weight of its history, mm -hmm. and I lament the research that I failed to complete. Sure. And this, Kave, my dear child, is why you will be of great utility to me. It does feel kind of weird and bad, like you're being used. I don't like that. You're... you're absolutely certain that you want to give me everything you own? <laughs> for me to do with as I please? <laughs> it seems that way. I have faith in what I see in you. Now wear the diadem, Kave, and complete the journey that I could not. This feels weird. Cutscene again? Cutscene again. <sighs> Careful, Kave. Will the verdict I reached cause you suffering? Or Perhaps. Or will this newfound wealth numb your heart? I hope no suffering. I look forward to your answer. All of my research materials are being stored at all. Yes! <laughs> Champion! I've heard enough! My life's enough of a mess already. <laughs> the last thing I need is more suffering. Keep your mora. 
I don't need Legend. it. Legend. Didn't you say that you saw a lot of people in pain? <laughs> well, if that's the case, then your wealth can go to them. Legend. Maybe he's proven the experiment worked. <laughs> yeah. She. That's cool, though. I guess that'll be the end of that. What a legend. Damn. Okay. Champion. Are you alright? Any physical discomfort? Not anymore. I'm fine. <sighs> <laughs> no, he's not. Thanks, Tainari. Don't worry about me. Don't push yourself too hard. Yeah. Ironic, coming from the person that made a mess in the desert. Kave. <laughs> Kave may have broken the diadem, but he successfully completed the task prior to that. He wins the money still. <laughs> According to the rules, this makes him the victor of round three. Points-wise, this <laughs> also makes him the winner of the Inter-Darshan Championship. Let's go! As the champion and Sachin's personally designated successor, Kave has obtained the rights to inherit the entirety of his estate. Yeah. For the avoidance of doubt, can you confirm that it is your intention to donate all of Sachin's wealth? This is a good this is a good moment. Like I said, he thought that the world is a bad place. Mm -hmm. Well then, let's use what he left behind to change it for the better. Sure. Rejecting the world will achieve nothing. He and I Thank you. We're not the same. Thank you. I'm so happy he said it himself. Alright. As the scribe, I will make a record of this incident on file. Yeah. The sages will contact you in person for details on how exactly Sachin's estate is to be used. Okay. That sounds fine. Yeah. I don't know if his research findings were right, nor would I know how to finish his research for him. That's also not your job. But what I do know is that by ending this here, no contestants will have to suffer. Good. We won't be the last. There will be more championships to come. Uh-huh. And countless future scholars will follow in our footsteps. What a beautiful transition. Sachin's words can only cause pain. No, if it's coincidence or not. Not anymore. Yeah. No one else has to hear them now. I'm so glad he did all of this. We're all scholars here. I know full well that shutting down his views like this is autocratic and arrogant. Uh -huh. Fine by me. <laughs> I'll bear that responsibility. Champion. It's the least I can do. And, well... It's the only thing I can do. Can we cheer him on now? Applause? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well said. What you've expressed is a sense of justice and idealism <laughs> that many aspire to, but few dare follow through with. Now, what? A compliment from all hate them? I say this despite the fact that, in my view, it's quite ridiculous. You have long been aware of what your flaws are, mm -hmm. but your pride alone prevents you from admitting it. <laughs> Nevertheless, your perspective is well suited to appearing in a victory speech. True. Contestant Kave, on behalf of the organizing committee, it is my honor to congratulate you on your victory. Wow. What? Please. I don't need your insincere praise. <laughs> anyway, this isn't the time or place for debates. Keep your commentary focused on the competition, not my views. Damn, he's popping off, though. Congratulations, Kave. Mm -hmm. Also, you'll need to prepare for the award ceremony. Okay. Wow. A third cutscene? The ceremony will be held at the main venue. Wow. Let's head over and check it out. I can't believe that. That felt like it went so quick suddenly. There's... Is it just gonna end? His son's just jailed? That's it? That's crazy. What a cool cutscene, though. The fighting especially? Whoa. Ah, our champion Kaveh, man. We love him. Thank you all for your excellent performance. And that brings this year's Inter-Darshan Championship to a close. Yeah. Wow. Ah, there it is. The round of applause by four people. Finally, it gives me great pleasure to invite our champion, Kave, to the stage to receive his award. Whoa! Kave, Kave, Kave. Typically at this point, mm -hmm. we would crown our champion with the diadem as well as presenting them with their award. Yes, but here's the wholesome moment. However, we have just received word that Kave has inherited Sachin's estate <laughs> and made the decision to donate it all to charitable causes. The tiny music in the back, it's, it made me tear up. <gasps> Sachin's estate is getting donated? Yes. So much more. Uh, and he gave it all up? Yes. Kaveh's generosity will give many struggling families the chance to change their lives for the better. Where's the rest of the crowd, bro? Of course, without the diadem and prize money to present, 
This makes the award ceremony a little more concise than expected. Mm -hmm. Would you like to say a few words, Kave? Of course. I'm sure many of our audience, like myself, are curious to learn why you decided to give all this wealth away. Speech, speech, speech. I'm not entirely sure what I should say under these circumstances. <laughs> I'm glad to have won, even though I'd say luck played a big part in that. <laughs> As for why I want to give the Mora away, I don't support Sachin's views, uh -huh. and I don't want to take his Mora. Mm -hmm. With a lot of things in life, people need to experience them for themselves. True. It shouldn't be up to one person to make a judgment on. Yeah. Not him, and not me either. Nice. Anyway, this isn't really the time and place for such weighty and complicated topics. Mm -hmm. So, um, I guess that's all. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks, Lars. Oh, Kave, uh, just one moment. <laughs> well, this is a short and sweet award ceremony, oh. we do still have a prize oh, to present right. with. <laughs> Please take this limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card. <laughs> zoom on Simon. Additionally, He's your mad. champion status will be logged in your record. Whoa. This means that the sages will give priority consideration to Ooh. any future project proposals you submit. That's pretty sick, though. <sighs> All right, I'll take the card. Oh. But as for project proposals, uh, uh, forget it. Wow. In that case, I declare the award ceremony over. Yeah. Let's yeah. give our champion Kabe one last big round of applause. Applause. Wait, do I have to? A applause. There's literally four of us here. I still don't really get it. Uh huh. The sum of Mora would have been enough for me to live in luxury for my entire life. Yeah. Well, then your ideas don't match. That just means you're not strange enough to understand the way that genius is. <laughs> Come on. We've still got the whole wisdom gala to explore. <laughs> Bahir. Bahir, you genius. Hey, look, it was actually a crowd of five people, oh, plus us. Glad that's over. I think I'm quite good at giving speeches, but this one was just so tiring. Yeah, it was it was decent. Do decent you mean enough. That you're still exhausted from the competition? Probably. Honestly, you don't look happy at all. No. But whatever else happened, you're the champion, you know? Don't you think you should be proud of that? I think you can be proud of the choice you made. I suppose. <sighs> oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Sino said he wanted the card, didn't he? Yeah. And now I have it, mm -hmm. right here. Yep. So you're gonna give it to him? But if it's a rare one, you should be able to make a tidy sum of more off it. It's Paimon, this is the whole plot of the quest, bro. What do you mean? Besides, apparently it's not rare, it's just holographic. Why would I do that? It's of no use to me whatsoever. Yeah. I may as well just give it to him. Sure. Uh, could you pass it on to him for me when you next see He's him? He's right there. Oh, whoa! This is a super big Yeah. Deal. You should do it yourself. I would Come think on, it'd be more wholesome. He's right there. Walks up. <laughs> huh? But I was going to rest for a while longer. <laughs> hey, hey, stop pulling my hair. <laughs> That's so good. Paimon, you little demon. You little devil. I see Oh, uh, Sino should totally have a thought like, damn, I'm so mad I didn't get the card. Hey there, Sino. What you looking at, Sino? Sino, more like, sigh, yes, because he's sighing because he didn't win and he's sad about it. I'm still thinking about the Sachin issue. <laughs> what brings you here? Presents. Well, they gave me this limited edition genius invocation card, <laughs> and I figured you'd have more use for it than I. I love this guy. But it's a limited edition. <laughs> Are you sure you want to give it to me? Yeah. What else would I do with it? Oh. I have no use for it. Let's play cards. <sighs> but it's limited edition. <laughs> Kaveh, are you in trouble? <laughs> you don't have to do all this. Just tell me what's wrong and I will help. Sweet. Oh, that's not what I meant at all. Yes, I have all sorts of problems, but that has absolutely nothing to do with this card. <laughs> I'll figure my own issues out by myself. Yes. All right. In that case, I accept your generosity. Uh -huh. But now that I realize that you have no concept of its value, oh. I cannot simply take it from you. He's gonna treat him to a meal. Uh, how about this? I shall buy it from you at a fair price. Okay. Namely, the price that the previous <laughs> limited edition card sold for. So 15 more, a bet. Oh, come on. It's just one card. How much could it really be worth? <laughs> if he says, like, millions. One million yep. more at the very least. <laughs> she... How much? <laughs> a million more? One million. If you feel that's too low, I can go a little higher. <laughs> what? 
one million mora for a car? Uh -huh. But you already have a whole bunch of these <laughs> uh, shiny ones, don't you? Uh -huh. I saw your deck last time we played. Oh, they played together. He does play. Not every card is this valuable, uh -huh. and some cards are exquisitely designed, but not rare. I love this. He's such a nerd. Huh. Well, I guess they must pay you plenty to be General <laughs> Mahamatra if you're <laughs> splashing out on things like this. True. Do you guys remember the Pokemon pack opening arc? I remember that. Maybe we should bring it back. But really, it's fine. I'd feel bad taking Mora from a friend. Yeah, that is rough. Don't feel bad. I save a lot. I can spare the Mora for this card. <laughs> uh, you don't spend all your savings on your <laughs> hobbies, do you? You should watch that, you know. You definitely don't want to end up borrowing money in a moment mm, of impulsivity. Mm. Living with debt is miserable. Yeah, we are speaking from experience. Sounds like you're speaking from personal experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess you've been through a lot. Yeah, that seems pretty obvious, right? <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. In that case, maybe you're the one who should be listening I to I was going to say it too. Seems a bit hypocritical. In any case, <laughs> I, Sina, <laughs> will take this precious card and it shall join the deck of destiny. Sina, the adventurer. Kave. Come with me in a few moments to collect the more. That's great. Thanks to you, I have achieved my goal for participating in this tournament. That's wonderful. It makes me so happy too. And this means the covet arc can move on as well with like moving out and stuff. I hope we get lots more covet. All right, if you insist. Far be it from me to refuse your courtesy any further. Yeah. Well, at least I'll be able to keep on top of my bills this month. Sure. Maybe I'll even have some left over. In fact, let me treat you all to a <laughs> meal later. Bring Tainari and Kale too. <laughs> Kale, you dummy. Well, this is what they call all swell that ends. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Paima wonders how the other contestants are doing. Yeah. Let's go check in with them, shall we? Sure. Since we're guest commentators and all. We did forget about that. That's true. I wonder why Bob suddenly. I mean, I did predict that he would play the last round, but why now? He cared for the Diadem. I don't know. There's no way he cared for the Mora. Do you just want to fight? I don't know, dude. Wow, that is very unexpected arc, but very cool. I already was a big Kaveh fan, but this definitely amplifies it even further. Oh, wow. Yes, Candace and Dia moment. You, you can't go wrong taking advice from me on what to wear. <laughs> Back in the day, my fashion style was considered cutting edge by everyone in academia. Really? Really? Well, then, uh... Sure, Madam Farzan. <laughs> Maybe you could pick out a few fashionable outfits for oh, us. Oh, please give us a Candace skin. Farzan, Nilu, <gasps> even Dia and Candace are I here. I know. What are you all up to? You know, actually, I don't want Candace to get a skin. Her base outfit is so pretty. Candace and I bumped into these two while we were strolling through the streets. Yeah. Madam Farzan here is pretty friendly. Uh huh. When she heard that we were buying clothes, she decided to give us some help. That is that is sweet. Hmm. I don't really see anything I'm familiar with. Oh. Never mind. We can purchase some textiles and make the clothes ourselves. That's so cool. Imagine customized clothes in Genshin for the MC. Let's go with the plain fabric as our base. And broider red and pink flowers on. Oh, and some green leaves. <laughs> I hate that they're teasing so much at, like, people getting new outfits all the time. And we're just here in our stinky, unwashed, blue and white fit since three years ago. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, you sure that's the latest style? <laughs> that sounds a lot like what the older folks back home would wear. <laughs> Don't worry. This style is a timeless classic. Yeah, a timeless classic. Uh, no thanks. This is actually sounding pretty weird. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Madame Parzan's right. Oh. That style is a classic. Okay. It used to be mainstream fashion. But these days, there are some other options too. Okay. If you don't mind, how about I pick some clothes out for everyone? Sure. It's not often that we get to meet up, especially since Candace rarely makes it to Sumeru City. Yeah. Also, I know a few places where I can get a great bargain. I'm... I... Uh, please tell me we get to see these outfits. Sure. I'm happy to leave it to you. Oh. Uh. I'll come with you to have a look. One always has to keep on top of what the youth of today are into. <laughs> Madam Farazan? Come quick! Oh, no. She's over here! Oh no. Is this the same lady we just saw that was like, where'd you give away your fortune? Hmm? Who are you? <laughs> We're new in the academia. Okay, it isn't. We saw all the amazing things you did during the competition. <laughs> Do you have any classes we could sign up for? Whoa. 
<clears throat> of course I do. And you're both very welcome to join. <laughs> That's great. We can't wait. Um, what's your area of research? Oh. Precision mechanics? Part of it. I'm from Haravatat. Hmm. Uh huh? But you seem like an expert <laughs> in machines. Wait, sorry. I remember now. You were representing the Haravatat Darshan in the championship. Yeah. Oh, their classes are so boring, though. Wow. I'm sorry, ma'am. Let me know if you run any other classes in the future. I'll be there. Wow. Runs away? Wow. I knew it. What about you? Aren't you going to leave with your friends? <laughs> I think you're amazing, Madam Farazan. And I'd like to learn from you for a while, wow. if possible. Sweet. I can take the class you're teaching as an option, even though cross darshan lessons might be a little tough to arrange. But I look forward to learning from you. She's cute. I see. You're a good egg child. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Study under me, and I promise you, you will get the best teaching available. Nice. Thank you so much, ma'am. Well, I won't disturb you any further. See you in class. Bye. She's way sweeter. Runs away. I don't quite understand what happened there, <laughs> but congratulations, I think. Yeah, did you not go to school or anything? Traveler, Paimon, would you two yes. like to come and pick out some clothes? Please, yes. Sorry, no. You got a meal with Kaveh later. <laughs> Bro. And we have to check in with all the other contestants before then. I'm so mad. They oh, always by tease. The way, have any of you seen Hat Guy or Layla? They always tease. I don't know where Hat Guy went. We just saw Layla not too long ago. All right, though. where? But she was hanging out with some other Ratahua students, so we didn't get a chance to speak with her. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna go and see what she's up to? Yes. Ratahua students? They must be the ones who voted for her to enter the competition, right? Definitely. Oh, she didn't end up winning, so Paimon wonders how they feel about that. Let's go take a peek. She almost won, though. She was doing good. But it was on. If you don't come to Sumeru City often, classic floral designs aren't a bad choice. Those don't really go out of style. Sure. And of course, since you're putting this on your body, you need to consider the type of fabric the clothes are made from. Yeah. Some materials might look stunning, but they can be terribly uncomfortable to wear. So true. Agreed. After all, is fashion not the constant phasing in and out of classics? Yeah. In that sense, you could always consider the style I suggested too. <laughs> Wait, uh, sorry ma'am, but I think it could be Quite a while before the style you recommended comes back in fashion. <laughs> I actually think the style recommended by Madame Faruzan is quite beautiful. It's actually the boomers against the youth. Isn't it just? You have a discerning eye, my dear. <laughs> Any thoughts? We're all head empty. These clothes oh. all seem a bit too flimsy. Is there anything sturdy? I was thinking that too. In the desert? I think I might need some more practice if I wanted to embroider my own complex designs. <laughs> Although, I'm no beginner with a needle and thread. More like upper end of intermediate? I feel like the desert outfits are almost more, uh, maybe not more complicated, but like, they're like, at least, I mean, Photozone's wearing the most common classic kind of thing, and Nilu. The desert fits are definitely like, spicier. The classics are the best. Period. <laughs> Earlier I was thinking about fashion, actually, without playing Genshin, just suddenly. Dia and Candace are both pretty tall. Yeah. That means they have a lot of options when it comes to clothes. Yeah. True. True. I was thinking everyone has their own favorites, right? It's kind of stupid that fashion is a thing. Well, not per se fashion, but oh. like the fact beauty trends are a thing. Because everyone has their, their own favorites. But we're still like matching someone's preferred style. It don't make no sense. I'm sorry, hey, everyone. Hmm. I could have done better in the third round. You were really close. Oh, stop it. <laughs> if you're going to beat yourself up after doing as well as you did, how bad does that make us look, huh? Heck, it's not like any of us had the guts to enter the championship. She's right. She's sweet. I didn't see the whole thing, but you were the only contestant who scored points in both the first two rounds, right? True. And I heard that you actually found the diadem first in round three. True. <laughs> you came so close to winning the competition. So true. Oh, I just got lucky, I think. Everyone's saying that. That can't be true. You had some really stiff competition out there. Yeah. The renowned Tainari from Amorta. Uh -huh. Even Sino the General Mahamantra mm -hmm. was there. You're amazing, all of you. Aw, Sidra. Getting points off them is a huge achievement. 
the way I see it, people aren't exaggerating one bit with the nicknames they give you. You are a genuine genius. Nice. Oh, thanks a lot. But I really don't think I qualify <laughs> as a genius. <laughs> In the second round, for instance, I dozed off and somehow found myself beside the device when I came to So she actually isn't aware of the other Layla. Ah, oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've decided we're taking you out to celebrate and that's final. Cute. Let's go. Cheer up, Layla. The rest of today's all about you. All right, I guess we won't interrupt. Looks like things are going well for Layla. Yeah. This is great. You're very sweet. Hmm. We haven't seen Hat Guy since the end of the competition. Eh, oh well. It's almost <laughs> Oh time. well. We better go meet up with Kaveh and Sino now. What? Really? We just leave? Everyone hold hands. Oh, that was not Layla. Hey. Uh, what a relief. Yeah, you did great, Layla. Uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> but in the end, no one was disappointed in me. Yeah. Finally. You're gonna make me yawn. I can get some good sleep. Hey guys, even roleplay yawns make me yawn, man. <laughs> I can't believe there has to be some place we can see Hat Guy. I hate that I'm calling him Hat Guy now. His name is just Bob. Maybe he'll show up during our meal. That's usually what Bob does. Hello, friends. Can I even fit on this table? Are you sure you have enough to cover this? Don't blow it all at once. This is what he always does. Don't worry. I budgeted very carefully. Okay. And this is well within my means. Sure. Anyway, I've lost count of how many times you've treated me. Oh. It's high time I return the favor. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, traveler, Paimon, over here. Hey, friends. Ooh, <laughs> look at all this. <laughs> Good food, here we come. <laughs> Good company, too. Hello. I heard that you went to see the other contestants. Yeah. How's everyone doing? Well, we found everyone except for Hat Guy, so I don't know how Hat Guy's doing. The rest, happy, buying clothes, you know. Harasan found herself a student, and Layla's classmates are bowled over by how well she did. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't find Hat Guy, though. Who knows where he's gone? Yeah. Well, Haytham's gone missing in action, too. Huh. The one time I'm actually in a good enough mood to treat him to a nice meal, he disappears without a trace. I'm telling you, Hat Guy and I'll hate them were the ones that beat up those bandits. <sighs> that guy. Where the heck could he have gone? I still have questions about that note he left. Yeah. Well, whatever. He can do what he wants. Now, let's eat. Nom nom. You all share a delicious meal. She's full. And big. <laughs> you shocked me a little when you hurled the diadem to the ground. Yeah. On further reflection, of course, it made sense, but at the time I was expecting at least some amount of deliberation. Sure. Sachin's voice started talking to me inside my head from the moment I picked it up. Yeah. I could feel his emotions, too. It was a mix of despair and horror swirling around inside my mind. Yeah, we don't want that. He bombarded me with his ideas relentlessly, like he was trying to brainwash me. Yeah. It gave me a splitting headache that only got worse as he went on. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying at the time, his views are not necessarily completely without value. Yeah. But if all his research does is lead to misfortune, then we're probably better off without I it. I can agree. If his forbidden research were to spread in a harmful form and cause people to suffer, the mantra would step in and ban it. Yeah. I think you did the right thing. I agree. For I sure. suppose another way to approach it would have been to claim that you agreed to inherit his research, but give up the research as soon as you've inherited the wealth. Yeah. Uh, but that wouldn't have been your style. Also true. I won't comment on his theories or experiments, mm -hmm. but I don't believe that he was careless in his choice of candidate. Yeah. He chose you. That means he knew what he was doing. I think so too. Perhaps. I just think that if you accept someone else's things, you should honor their wishes. Yeah. I mean, not per se, but I understand that train of thought. That's a good thing. It means that you have integrity. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> See, you get me, Kale. <laughs> It's a good thing I'll hate them isn't here right now. He'd be quick to explain why you're wrong. <laughs> Seems like you always include him in the conversation, even when he isn't yeah, here. Yeah, well, I mean, they live together, but you don't know that. Yep, no dinner with Kave is complete without a few words about our. <laughs> I sense that all Haytham has in fact been here with us all along. Okay. He's here? Where? Why didn't you tell me? A part of him in you. He lives rent-free in each of us. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, yeah, no, that's uh, way too, way too 2023. I hate it. Oh, that was horrifying. Yeah. 
It literally sent chills down my spine. Uh -huh. We're having a very like meta conversation here, I will say. Good thing you didn't say that before we started eating. Yeah. That would have killed the mood in a heart. <laughs> all right, enough about all Haytham. Tainari, did you achieve what you wanted out of the championship? Yeah, you got like a bunch of people during the butterflies. I did. In the first round, yeah. in fact. Word of mouth proved very effective. Definitely. I spoke to a handful of people, they told their friends, and so on. Now, a record number of people have signed up to attend the next lecture. That's amazing. Oh, are, are you free next month? You should come along. Next Maybe even month. say a few words. Oh. How about what? I don't know the first thing about anything Amorta related. Right. Just play to your strengths. For instance, you could talk about the distinguishing features oh, of rainforest architecture. That'd be so cool. Or ask everyone not to chop down too many trees the next time they're building a <laughs> Oh, well, that's no problem. Sure, I'll make time. That's cute. Has everyone had enough to eat? I can order more if anyone's still hungry. Paimon is an endless pit. Don't order more. I'm full. Thanks. <laughs> Paimon's super full, too. <sighs> If only we could eat like this every day. <laughs> yeah, we should do this more often. Work will always be there, but seeing friends is important Damn too. Damn it, stop. This is a good restaurant. Let's definitely come here again. All right. Sounds good. We should pick a few other places as backup options, Backup, though. you say? There are other good places around here, too? Oh, <laughs> don't forget to invite us if you go. <laughs> There's nothing we love more than good food. Paimon loves more than good food. I like the company. Cave, do you Ooh. have plans after this? Leave tavern. <laughs> I was thinking of maybe going to the academia the for some intellect. alone time. Nothing set in stone, though. Why do you ask? Uh, really? Mm, since everyone is free, oh. why don't Can we I? play a few matches of Genius Invocation TCG? Can I? Eager to show off your new limited edition card, are you? I would love to see it. Not to show off. This is my way of thanking you for your help. Yeah. Only my best friend will have the honor of seeing this card's debut play. Wow. All right, sure. I didn't bring my deck with me, though, so I'll need to borrow one. Damn. Actually, Master, I made a new one a few days back. Uh oh <sighs> Don't tell me you've been spending all your study hours playing cards. Uh. Come on, no need to be so stern. They do say that your innate interests are your best teacher, don't they? This is true. This is actual fact. No, I can't play. I can't play. I wish I could play. Leave Tavern. Hey, Lambad, you think we're gonna see Bob too, don't you? Back in the day? No, right now, not back in the day. This instant. Bob, hate the moment. Well, it looks like this Intergarshan Championship's around. Uh huh. All that stuff with the chain and the diadem got sorted too. Yep. Hmm. Have you still got anything else on your mind? Chain's research. Oh, right. Yeah. The chain said that he placed his research materials at somewhere beginning with ah. Uh, uh -huh. Kaveh smashed the diadem of knowledge before he could finish. Uh -huh. huh. It might be dangerous if someone finds his old research stash, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, where do you think it could be? I guess the dentist. They want you to go ah uh, usually. All right, our village. <laughs> Holy smokes! You're Holy right. smokes! You better spend all the time researching in the desert. Yeah. Kiwi. So it's very possible that that's where he'd leave all his silk. Uh huh. All right then, let's head off to our village and try our luck. Try our luck. We have li we have nothing. We have the first letter of a place. Enough for our luck. And he hid it, hid hid it somewhere as well. Bob, I know you're here, Bob. <laughs> this ah uh, hate them. Never mind. It ain't Bob. Figured it'd be one of the two. Everyone hold hands. No thoughts. Head empty. Hey there, champ. You too came here after hearing that, huh? Didn't expect to run into you here. Well, yeah, happens, doesn't it? Oh, hey, them. What are you doing here? <laughs> and what are you reading? Are those the notes? Sachin's notes? Yeah. <laughs> I came across his profile while I was organizing some documents uh -huh. and became interested in his research. Okay. If it wasn't for that. I never would have agreed to being a commentator. That's what it is. I had a hunch after seeing the fragment of his mind. And sure enough, I came here and found his research. Mm -hmm. Wait, so you've read it already? He is reading it. Are you alright? How do you feel? Oh, this is interesting. I think you may have misunderstood something. 
The reason Sachin chose that architect to inherit his that research architect. was that only he could really empathize with both the calamity and the humanity that these notes seek to convey. Mm -hmm. Only one who resonates with these sentiments would suffer and begin to think of history as bleak, the present as perplexing, and the future as pessimistic. Sure. Empathy is a double-edged sword. Clearly, I am not the same sort of person as Sachin was. Sure. Empaths have many friends, and their wide social circle comes with certain societal advantages. Uh -huh. But this also makes it hard for them to achieve their goals. Yeah. Why is that? Well, they have to take care of everyone's problems. <laughs> All important things in life involve other people. Uh -huh. As such, it's extremely difficult to live a life that causes no harm whatsoever to others. Yeah, very true. If you really want to achieve your goals, you have to be prepared to make enemies along the way. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can deal with that reality. Yeah. And that reality is like the material here. Objective, heavy, negative. Yeah. But at the end of the day, for all these experiment results and conclusions, it's just one person's perspective. Hey. Sachin. This is what I was trying to say about fashion earlier. So, what are your thoughts now that you've read it? Nothing. Head empty. As a scholar, Sachin was without a doubt a genius. Okay. He laid the blame for the darkness in the world squarely on humanity, experimented extensively with reliable results, mm -hmm. and drew logical conclusions. In that sense, one might say his views were correct. Okay. So, people are bad? <laughs> And things can only ever get worse? No. All of that's true? No, there's a there's a changing factor, the humans. That is not a question for me to answer. Someone else will arrive shortly. You can ask them instead. Bob! What's up, Bob? Good to see you, Bob. All I will say is that the world is not built on correctness alone. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, being correct means nothing at all. Those words you wrote among your notes. What did that line written in ancient script mean? Lofty ideals may provide no defense at all against nihilism, but perhaps little decisions can. Yeah. By their own choice, the idealist seeks to bring happiness to all while denying themselves the same. Yeah. <laughs> Thus, they shall never reach even the borders of truth until they wipe away the ignorance that blinds them. Yeah, yeah. I've never been able to agree with certain philosophies. Mm -hmm. Even Sachin himself struggled to comprehend the notion of sacrificing oneself for the greater good. Yeah. But sadly, all viewpoints will find their supporters, and the way we see the world largely decides our fate. Sure. All right then, I got what I came for. These research materials are yours to look after. I'll be on. All right, take care. Wait, so you came here just to read this stuff? Uh huh. Come on, that's literally the point he was trying to make during that conversation. Uh, get together? Ah, yes, that makes sense. Hmm. This is a good opportunity for that sort of thing. Uh-huh. Guess what? Kami treated everyone this time. Mm -hmm. Then I'm sure he packed up the leftovers for me. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> he probably did, to be honest. See ya. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there he goes. Well, seems like he really wasn't affected by this research. Mm -hmm. Bob. What do you think that'll be? Bob. Bob. <laughs> He'll be Bob. You wait around near the research materials. Hey, Bobarino. Whoa, shocker. Traveler, Paimon, you're already here. Hey, Nahi. Nahida! Oh, and Haka. Bob, you mean. Wait, so you asked him to take part in the championship? Apparently. <laughs> yes, it was me. Are you surprised? No, I knew it from the start. Did you know that there was something wrong with the diadem from the start? <laughs> but if so, why didn't you switch it out for another one? <laughs> because Sachin's research is not mistaken. Uh -huh. He spent his entire life researching this topic, and these materials are a result of that. Okay. These are the crystallization of his wisdom. Yes, I was worried that the material might cause some disruption. But I didn't want to wipe away all his hard work searching for the truth. Sure. So instead, I had Hat Guy here help me keep an eye on him. <laughs> I'm surprised. Seriously? I think you can stop calling me that. I now. agree. Please call him Bob again. Why? Don't you like it? How are you going to replace Bob? <sighs> it's so iconic at this point. Well, anyway, if Sachin's chosen successor hadn't been able to handle his research, or if it had brought pain to more people, mm -hmm. he would have intervened at a suitable moment. Yeah, okay. 
And after all that, the person Sachin chose turned his nose up at his life's work. Uh -huh. Pretty hilarious. Yeah, hilarious. I was also hoping that this could be an opportunity for you to learn how to interact with people normally. <laughs> But it looks like that didn't work out. <laughs> I find it so funny that she's, she's like the teacher. That wasn't necessary. I'm still paying you back for your help. Mm. And the last thing I need is more reasons to be indebted All to right. you. Alright. Maida, what did you mean by Sachin's research is not mistaken? Does that mean that you approve of his research? Uh, I mean, kinda. The fact, uh, I don't know how you word this. Hmm, put it this way instead. Truth to me is like a shroom board. You love it. <laughs> Some people only see the mushroom on the shroom board's back, uh -huh. and they conclude that the shroom board is a mushroom. Okay. Others see only the shroom board's body, and they declare that the shroom board is a board. Uh huh. Hey, this comes down to that whole thing I said about fashion again. Still Maybe that was a hint. deeper inside, and determine that the shroom board is me. <laughs> They're not wrong. These conclusions are all correct in their own way. Yeah. But none of them objectively describe the shroom mm -hmm. board. Paimon kind of gets it, but also not really. Okay. The world is the same way. Mm -hmm. No one, not even I included, can understand it in its entirety. Yeah. All of us are somewhere on the path toward truth. Yeah. Within the confines of our limited knowledge, some may blindly believe in the beauty of this world, and others may focus only on its evils. Sure. In truth, the most important thing isn't what state it's the world is in now, as well. but what people hope it will become. Yeah. But of course, I don't mean that as a criticism or a call to action. Yeah. Ultimately, my duty as the god of wisdom is to guide every form of wisdom to a place where it can find its purpose. Okay. That was a long speech. <laughs> so what are you actually <laughs> going to do with these research materials? Yeah. Because Kaveh has the successor of this research, does not wish to see these ideas disseminated, mm -hmm. I will seal it okay. up. But even though Sachin's research could be considered negative wisdom, mm -hmm. it is still a building block of the truth. Sure. If someone wishes to follow in his footsteps An in the future, I will not stop them. Uh -huh. I also look forward to the day that a member of the Vahumana Darshan can not only comprehend his theories, but also find a way out from the despair as well. Sure. <laughs> Vahumana doesn't have that kind <laughs> of talent. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you're not intending to keep me in Vahumana long term, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember signing up to become a scholar. Uh -huh. Don't you think I'm useful enough to you as a prisoner? A prisoner. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> Do you think so? Well, to that, I would say that in Sumeru, even prisoners have a right to an education. <laughs> There's no way he couldn't just escape if he wanted to. I hope that your studies in Bahumana will help you deal with your own fate uh -huh. and learn how best to settle old debts from yeah, your Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. It's important for him, too. I will reveal your final thesis myself. <laughs> I'm expecting great things from you, Mr. Hat. Stop Hattie. calling him that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Gathering and partings. Quest complete. A parade of provenance. Act three. When the curtains close, there's a final little, a little final ending act. Also, wait. B Hello, Bob. Bob and he gone. I don't even get to uh, post talk to them. That's kind of lame. In that case, I will run back to Cave, who is in the academia. We're actually chilling right outside of it, and has no thoughts. Hey, Cave. Twenty years ago. The Academia had just received Sachin's estate. Yeah. To celebrate the huge investment, the Academia extravaganza that year was grander than usual. Mm -hmm. I was very young then, and I remember seeing posters for the Interdarshan Championship all over the city. Right. I couldn't help but mention it to my father. I even told him that I really liked the look of the diadem. Mm -hmm. It was so unique. Yeah. So he said, why don't I win it? So I can let you play with it for a few days. Aww. That made me very happy, and I nodded enthusiastically. But to my surprise, he didn't win. Aww. And when he got back home, he seemed extremely depressed. Aww. Later, he left home, saying that he wanted to do some investigating in the desert. Yeah. The quicksand got him not long after that. Yeah. For many years, I couldn't face up to it at all. If I just kept my mouth shut, maybe none of it would have ever happened. <sighs> 
yeah, not right, but... See, here we go. This is that arc, this is that... Wow. Your father may have seen Sachin that year. Wait, so the person we came across in our investigation, uh -huh. who went into the desert 20 years ago, uh -huh. it was... Yes. Hmm. <laughs> is that why Sachin thought I looked familiar? Yep. I can't believe mm -hmm. it. My father was always too kind for his own good. Sachin's research would have saddened him greatly. Yeah. He must have gone into the desert when he heard about it to find those who were still suffering. <laughs> it all makes sense now. I'm tearing up again. I've tried telling myself so many times over the years that maybe his sudden depression wasn't because he didn't win the competition. Yeah. Maybe something else was going on that I wasn't aware of. But in the end, it all started with me mentioning the competition to him. No. Don't worry, I... I destroyed the diadem. Man. There will never be another tragedy like this again. Never again. There will be. We all know there will be. <laughs> Maybe not with the diadem, but... There will be. When the curtains close, we get a little, I guess, sad ending arc, but... Hey, what's happened has happened, and uh, I think the future holds many bright things, and not only sad things. Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you enjoyed this story quest. Huge story quest and temporary. I really liked it. I think, uh, I mean, I relate a lot to many things said during this quest, so. He said he really liked that crown. I think this one looks pretty similar, and I'm giving it to him. <laughs> there you go, Kavit. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope to see you very soon with Kavit Building, and I hope you have a great week, great day, and exam season. Hope that's going well for all of you guys, if you're doing that. And just, uh, in general, hope everything's going great. Lots of love, take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.